Hello. Hello. Sorry, I was giving candy to someone. <laughs> I love that 2021 Seinfeld energy, you know? Uh-huh. It's a year about nothing. Yeah. That's so far. I mean, no, well, so far it's about beans, but... Uh, God. God. Posting... There's... Posting has accelerated so much. Like, <laughs> my, my theory that it was a like, increase up to... So I feel kind of like Terrence McKenna right now. And I'll, okay. I'll tell you why. Um, for those who don't know... was like this wicked cool guy who was like really into magic mushrooms and stuff like that but mm. he also lost his mind a little bit and uh, and believed that he was the guy who spread the 2012 thing oh okay he's like the root oh i'm unhearably quiet oh you sound fine on my end so it must be obs let me see I am apparently normal, which makes me think that the desktop audio is fine. Um, well, you're rustling. That was me. Okay. I haven't changed my mic settings at all. Um, how, am I still quiet? Am I still quiet now? I'm watching chat. I'm trying to make some noise. Still quiet. Everybody, let's make some noise! Oh, that's more better. So okay, everybody, I that, well. Still quiet, but heading in the right direction. Okay. Um, Definitely quieter, quieter than the wrestling, wrestling back. back. So my, my mic is at full. I can turn the... How, how is this now? Um, turn up the OBS bar, maybe? Yeah. Still very quiet. Okay. Um, that's frustrating. One it is picking up the right uh, microphone, right? Let's find out. Yes, it definitely is. Huh. Uh, I love audio. I love, I love all this stuff. I love how things just change. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, I'm going to add Jordan to the call real quick so that we can troubleshoot this or just switch to the, I'm just going to switch the call. Hello? Hello. Hello. All right. Um, so what? I have not uh, changed what, any settings. Do what? I have not changed any settings. You have not changed any settings. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is this any different? Do I sound different now? You do sound a little different. Same volume, but that's on the Discord side. Oh. Uh, keep talking. Let me listen to the stream. Okay. Um, talking playing around with some dials um, oh dials dials Not metal really dial Left. i'm just dialing it in you know just like mm. the new espresso you gotta okay dial you're in. you're still still low the, yeah still low um where is the are you going through your focus right i am <clears throat> did win so windows loves to change on the windows level it loves to change my oh, gain that's true yeah, let's so, see about that. Open volume mixer. Stephen, please pause your bag for just a moment, please. Thank you. Sorry. Um, uh, sound settings, actually, not volume mixer. Sound settings. Test your microphone. Um, and and then uh, over on the right, you should see like related settings, and it'll say sound control. How about panel. now? Ooh, that's that's uh, much louder. How about now? Too loud. Um, let me check the stream. Better getting there. It, it went down to fifty four. I don't know what it was at before. That's better. So people are saying that's better. I can still crank it up to twenty. I can still crank it up by twenty. Uh, so. keep cranking it a little bit. Okay, we're at eighty nine now. Sound control Try panel not. also has communications tab that turns down everything but the call. That's good, IMO, says this Taylor. This is good? You like the way things are now? You think 2021 is going to be better than you 2020? Like 
get real nerds much better much this better. is fine dot png we're good dot jpeg sorry okay great you all do right sound a, you do sound a little bit blown out on my end but we'll we can figure it out later it's it is good enough for what about now is this different better worse Th- that's not any different okay so that dial yeah. does nothing um <laughs> well that's frustrating that it's good enough still a little blown it sounds like you're now louder than the call um okay wait how about now oh you don't sound bl- blown anymore i'll say that how about now is this good do we like this sound off in the chat if you like this you said it was, there good. we go good a lot I, better uh, okay lot so better. i i messed with i turned down the hardware dial and turned up the software oh so, okay um i don't know if that's how you're supposed to do things anyway jordo thank you for checking in i know you're busy you're welcome. But, yeah uh, no it's we'll okay you, sorry we'll get you in on the next one yeah thank you yeah i i uh i'll be here in spirit you'll be muted on my second monitor okay okay Stephen, th- uh, thank you for uh, pausing your bag. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, God. There it is. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh God. Please stop the crinkling. Okay. All right. Have fun. Bye. That's the tinkle crinkles. This is ASMR, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is our Dark Souls ASMR stream. <laughs> uh, I am going to just crank this software a tiny bit more. Guinevere, the goddess that? of fertility, gives you a haircut. How about oh. this? This is this is what we're doing now. So if you don't like it, then um, sorry. I guess I don't know. This is this is sort of like a, a two-handed audio, kind of a strength build audio, you know? Mm, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, I'm gonna. So yeah, this is still. I know. I don't know. 2021. I'm gonna learn how to stream for real. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to cook, and I'm gonna learn how to stream. So, Hell yeah. Um, with the streaming, I'm going to get Nikki or someone else to help me. Um, I want to get the chat up on the screen because I used to hate that because I'm like, oh, this is just garbage that you have. Like, if I'm in the chat, I can already see the chat. But like, um, but I realized that it's good for uh, YouTube archiving. Right. Yeah, I suppose so. Because otherwise people won't see what we're referring to. Uh, Norvestin says, stream Demon Souls original. It looks like Toy Story 1 in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do want, kind of want to play the original Demon Souls. Um, I might get a PS3. There are actually other PS3 games that I would love to play. Like, for a long time, I've been wanting to play Metal Gear Solid 4. Mm. Um, and 3. I mean, 3, you could play on a PS2, but... Um, but not the HD version. Not the HD version. Yeah, so there's like a bunch of... Isn't the original Demon Souls unplayable? I think it's still playable. It's the just, servers are off. Yeah, the servers don't work anymore. <clears throat> uh, which is a large part of that game, because that game straight up has a bunch of mechanics in it where like in- entire boss fights are predicated on like online stuff. Right, right. Uh, um, that's kind of actually a running thing in the Souls games. They, they continue to do that. Oh, there's a private server. <laughs> awesome. Of course there oh. is. Oh! Because... God, people who run private servers are just, like, the coolest fucking people in the world. Like, mm-hmm. people who keep games alive like that. I'm, like, not even joking. I think that's just, like, such a cool thing. Like, um... Hell yeah, yeah. Like, um, dead MMOs and stuff. Uh, like, there's that Shimagami Tensei MMO that people kept running. If? Uh, yeah, that private server actually may have gone down at this point. I forget, but... Um, uh, did you ever hear about the... We were just talking about, um... City of Heroes last night. Did you hear about the secret private City of Heroes server no. that they were running? Oh, yeah. There was this whole, like, scandal that these people had figured out how to get a City of Heroes private server running, but, like, didn't tell anyone. They, oh they wanted it to just be intentionally for just them and their friends and not have wow. anybody else play. And then somebody leaked the details and oh people in that God. community were like, what the fuck? Why did you keep this from us? Jesus. Um... I, um, my friends and I played Ragnarok private servers in high school because um, you had to pay for that game at the time. I don't know. I don't think it's like that anymore, but I'm pretty oh, sure, sure it was an MMO where like you had to pay a monthly fee. But also when I played Ragnarok online, I don't think you were there was like a legal way to play it in the US. Like No. It was before it was... That was even before it was... Remember when it was on the DS? That was weird. Mm-hmm. But... Um, they put out a Ragnarok like spin-off that was like a Monster Hunter clone for the PSP as well that yeah. I played a little bit of. Um anyway, yeah, so this is uh this is Dark Souls. It's a new unique game. Mm. Uh, just checking it out on Steam. 
And, um... <laughs> uh... So this is uh, Bronald. That's Bronald. That's, that's him. That's Bronald. It stands for Beautiful Ronald. And I would take his helmet off so you can see, but he's meat right now. Yeah. R- Bronald, when he goes hollow, he kind of turns into beef jerky. Total beef jerky boy. And, and yeah. yeah. Also, this helmet is very tall. <laughs> like uh, Tall and very thin. thin. It's, it's, it's compressed his head quite a yeah. bit. Um, why was I talking about Terrence McKenna? Oh, yeah. I feel like Terrence McKenna because Terrence McKenna was a cool guy and then he kind of lost his mind and thought that 2012 was going to be like the uh, end of the world, basically. But in like mm. a good way, like it was going to be like the like novelty would accelerate into like a, a singularity, basically. Oh. But then it didn't happen and he had to be like, oh, fuck. Well, actually, he may have died before then. But um, my thing was like, I think... December 31st, 2020, posting is going to accelerate to such a degree that it will be mm. just inconceivable. Um, and I think I was a few days off because yesterday I feel like there were so many posts between Bean Dad and then Short Women. It's just like Twitter is just getting just out of control. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see what this year brings. I 100% agree with this theory of yours. Yeah, the time wave, except it's the tweet wave. Yep. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, I have to remember how to play. I forget every... I, when I stop playing this game every two days, I forget how to play it. Um, okay. Well, it's an easy one to jump back in on that has like a lot of like ongoing tutorials and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they really ease you into the... Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry, pal. Um, That's right. You were parrying these guys. That's you right. gotta parry these guys. So here's the problem. Here's where we were. Uh, last time... I think we started, yeah, the last time, the entire last stream was just getting through in Orlando, and 90% of it was just getting up that fucking ramp with yep. those two guys shooting arrows. <sighs> the ledge of death, it's called in the community. Yeah, and so I finally got past there, uh, met up with my bro, Solaire. Mm, yeah, um, and he flirted with you. Yeah, he was like, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you liked me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the problem right now is that um oh yeah and then i made it to uh low track and died yeah you invaded low track invaded yeah. low track and died um the problem right now is that i don't have any humanity right and so i can't kindle that bonfire and i can't on hollow to get okay well i guess i just died there last time for no reason um I think you were mildly on tilt at the end of the last stream. I was a little stream. bit on tilt at the end of the last stream. Um, I would love to get some humanity just so that I could kindle that bonfire. And then also so, have Solaire help. So I did do some research. I do know where you can get some humanity in Enerlando. Oh. Um, I think that was one thing we determined last time, but I wasn't going to tell you unless you specifically asked for it. Uh... Yeah, Solaire hanging in that room is really funny. He's just kind of like <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> so you hear sounds of carnage outside. Yeah. Ah! I did it all for you, Solaire. Uh, yeah, and I'm rocking a Black Knight sword because one dropped pretty early, so I just put a lot of time into getting strength so that I could use it. Yeah. Uh, I've got a bunch yeah. of other shit. Got a crystal halberd. You got the dragon tooth? Got the dragon tooth, which I definitely won't be able to use for some time. No. That thing's like a, you really have to mid-max into like the heavy armor, heavy weapon build. Yeah. Which, which is kind of the direction you're going. Solaris sees a slightly inconvenient obstacle and he's like, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's kind of Siegmeier I also, too, to be honest. For people who don't know, yeah, no, that's Siegmeier for sure. For people who don't know or weren't watching the earlier ones, I accidentally got the grass shield um, by running ahead somewhere where I wasn't supposed to be. Mm, yeah. Um, when I was trying to figure out, this is before I went to Blight Town. I was like, "Where the fuck am I supposed to go?" And I just didn't read the description that said, "Hey, this is the key to the depths. You should use it to go to the depths." So I ended up going to Ghost Town. And um, <laughs> oh, hey Adam, thanks for the raid, buddy. Uh, Adam is like so vindicated that I finally started playing Dark Souls. He's been telling me about how much he loves Dark Souls for like the past three years, and I was always just like, "No, I hate it." 
<laughs> uh, it's too hard. It's too hard. I don't like hard games. Uh, yeah, oh, he, you got he says, yeah, he's so vindicated. <laughs> nice, good. Uh, sick. All right, so, yeah, I got him. I keep just, but I keep taking big hits. Right. And, um, and I'm losing my Estus, and I need, <sighs> gotta do better. Okay. There is a... There's a less dangerous tactic than parrying to take those guys down, where you won't like lose as much health. blocking and like going around them. Yeah, they okay. they are very easy to butt stab. Okay, yeah, Norvestance is blocking backstab seemed easier. Okay, cool. I will try that. Okay, Adam says my tweet about how I can't believe how wrong I was about Dark Souls is one of the most gratifying things he's ever read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, Dillsdos. Uh, hi, Riley. Uh, thanks everyone for coming over from Adam's stream. Um, Thank you very much. Who's this tall glass of water? Oh, I, yeah, this I guy. Got, I got an interesting uh, idea. Yeah? Well, that didn't go quite how I thought it would. <laughs> Listen. You got the damage, right? Oh, so there's archers in here, too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the most reliable... Yeah, no, the... the the plunging attack is the most reliable attack in the game. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't fight them last time because... Okay, I gotta... Should I kill Lotrak first or should I just try to... Read message. Comfort. The, I will say, just to, to so you know, the mm -hmm. Lotrak stuff is completely optional and you can do it at any time. Okay. Uh, but also remember, if you if you'd forgotten, Lotrek killed that fire. Keeper yeah, and you, so that you can't go to Firelink yet. Yeah. Oops. I think one of the honestly, for as unreliable as it can be, the plunging attack not being in Demon Souls really fucked me up when I replayed Jesus, the remake. Oh my god! Wow. Just jumping on guys' heads, trying I'm, to fucking Mario stomp them. Yeah. I wow. Okay. Um, listen, we're warming up. This is normal. Mm -hmm. It's part of the process. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, and this is prepared to die edition, which is why it looks like this. But I kind of <laughs> love how it looks. I kind of like that it looks like this. Yeah. Like, it's it looks still like really pretty. And, like, but it also has, like, a bit of that weird, like, PS2 almost. I know it's PS3 originally, but. Yeah, but it was, for a PS3 game, it did not look like a PS3 game, you know? Right. I think you said on a previous stream that it looked like a forgotten PS2 game. Yeah, or it looks like a, a game that you'd see someone play, like, in a movie. Mmm, Like, it yeah. looks like the game from, uh, uh, what was that movie? Stay Alive. Stay Alive. See ya. Fucking down. Okay, and that is a one hit by the looks of it for yeah. you. That's good. Yeah, oh, I gotta get my zero souls. That's important. <laughs> I need that. What's but there mean? is a certain, like, compulsive you gotta, will to you gotta pick, pick up the those thing up. Yeah. yeah. Something about Can't the look is very it. powerful. I know. He's, like, mid bare midriff for maximum killability. <laughs> uh, well, you know what they say about the human body? The midriff is the most armored part. I mean, yeah. Look, he's got core muscles. He just flexes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, no, that's skin because he's very sick right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is Bronald. Uh, for people who are just joining us and missed the beginning of this, uh, Mer Merit's character is named Bronald, which is short for Beautiful Ronald. Get out of here. I love how they just explode like Buffy vampires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, underneath those helmets, they've just got the most fucked up forehead <laughs> I've ever seen. Alright, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, pal. No, are you not going to aggro? I mean, that's fine. He really just cares about those chests. Yeah, I mean, pal, I don't know what to tell you. I, I already opened them. Well, he hasn't turned around, so he hasn't seen that. Oh, that's true. On this this round through life. Yeah. Um. Okay, so if the Lotrek stuff is optional and I can do it later, mm -hmm. um, then maybe I'll wait on that for now. Um, just because. That fight is a little bit rough, and um, I can't use flasks in it, and I can't have a phone a friend. Right, and um, there's three guys. And there's three guys. You can't beat three guys. That's just not possible. Um, uh, Dearly Delirious has a, a tech t 
tip here, I think, a Dark Souls tech tip, which is I don't think you can backstab if your shield is raised when you attack. The game oh. has a few weird quirks like that. Okay, good to know. Also, yeah, for people who don't know, uh, this is a... Uh, uh, this is my first playthrough of Dark Souls. I, I haven't played it before. Is this where I came in? No, uh, this oh is no, where this you is, jumped down I went before. down there, and there was like a... I got something down there. Yeah, you got killed by gargoyles, though. I got killed by gar gargoyles. Yeah, by you have Brooklyn not gotten... and the Bronx oh. and all those guys. Yeah, Manhattan. Manhattan. I don't think you've gone through that door behind you, though. The one on the opposite side of where you came in, up here. Over here? Um, yeah. Where uh, Ronald is facing. <laughs> Zach says, tech tip, if you uninstall the game, give... If you uninstall the game, big guys can't get you no more. <laughs> That's true. Uh, did Mara do the horrible heavy crossbow knights yet? Heavy crossbow knights. Are you uh, is that the ledge of death? The ledge of death? Because I that was the entire last stream. Yeah, that was like forty-five minutes. They have bows though. I don't think they have crossbows. Gorgeous view. Yeah, dragon slayer bows. Uh, I got one of their bows too. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. See, this looks. This is what I'm talking about. This looks like a pre-rendered cutscene from a PlayStation Two game. They're skybox, and the thing is that they're not even skyboxes because you can be over there. That's you just can a just model. Walk there. Yeah, yeah. That continues up through the entire series. The entire series just does like shots like this that are so good. Love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> Papa Bear Zach says, "Look at this Prince of Persia skybox." Yeah. Or like, I guess this also kind of reminds me of like early 3D. It looks a lot better than it, but like, whoever was saying it. Um, Demon Souls looked like Toy Story. What this reminds me of actually is like reboot kind of. Oh sure. Just like some weird dude walking around with a sword and stuff. Um, like a game that they would have been pulled into. In yes, reboot. exactly. Like there is actually a fantasy episode of reboot that I'm I'm thinking of. I think it's the first season. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh. Sir. What's up? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's just tinkering. Man, well, he's just tinkering. I'm not. I'm not getting a target on him. Is he a You're friend? <gasps> friend! <laughs> Baron, I was so nervous you were gonna great chaos. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what you got for me? Oh, I could get some shards. I can't uh, really afford anything else? interesting thing to know about this guy that they don't really tell you uh -huh. um but uh, unlike the other blacksmith that you've met andre uh this guy can turn boss souls into boss weapons ah how do i do that um in dark souls one i think you have to up upgrade a specific oh boy do you have to like upgrade a weapon to like the end of its path or something to, yeah then... to, to level 10 first and then it will upgrade into the thing yes that's dark souls one okay. is the one that does that give me some shards pal they make that way simpler in the later games it's just like give me a soul bunch of souls give me a soul and here's a weapon do i need to oh i need twinkling titanite for this now damn he sells it doesn't he uh yeah i think it's expensive though yeah oh, it's like yeah. eight thousand. Jeez. yeah this guy is just vibing um can I reinforce my armor I love the way he just like taps, just like tee, 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 tee. uh huh, it's just so so gentle. Like, A gentle giant, you might say. Mhm. Mm How come? Oh, this needs twinkling because it's like good stuff. Yeah, twinkling titanite is usually used for unique items. Oh, okay. So like any gear that is like themed after a certain character or something will usually be Twinkling Titanite. Mm. In, a, in this game, I think Twinkling Titanite is only used on armor as well. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that, Taylor. <laughs> um, I... Oh yeah, I put on the Balder boots and it was bad because you see Ronald's leg meat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can we just get that on screen for a second real quick? Uh, can I get a nude Bronald? He looks like the fucking <laughs> red skeleton. <laughs> he looks like the red skull. He looks like a literal red skull. Mm-hmm. This is from like Marvel 19 uh, or no 1602 that Neil Gaiman uh, spinoff. 
This is the Red Skull version. God, horrible. Grotesque. Mm. This is dick out kind of mm. look, you know? Yeah. Mm. Who tore the skin off Ronald? Um, that's just a thing that happens in Dark Souls when you're a demon. Not a demon. When you're an undead and you die, you yeah. become hollowed. And we wouldn't want that. No. That's why you need souls to keep yourself sane. And some people uh, choose to become merchants and sell stuff in exchange for souls. And some people uh, get carried away by gargoyles to mythical godlands to go converse with giants. Mm-hmm. You can't just ask where his skin went. Oh my god. Yeah, it still does. It still does. Uh, yeah, read the lore bible. <laughs> also, yeah, these gargoyles um, can't fly. Right. They just Good. kind of fall off. So, you know? Yeah, even though, again, well, like you mentioned last week... They do literally, fly you in, yeah. Yeah. Literally, you were flown here by those gargoyles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, for the people who maybe aren't super familiar with Dark Souls, the lore is basically there's a curse that is spreading through the whole world to humans that is making them go undead, where if they die, they just get back up again eventually. But if that happens enough and they start to lose their, like will to live they eventually turn into like zombies called hollows and um when ronald has been killed and has not used a special item he looks like one of those zombies he looks like an undead he looks horrible yeah the chumbawamba curse <laughs> the chumbawamba curse tough thumping disease uh wait is this <gasps> is this it is it's could that, it be it's that door it's a shortcut it's a shortcut it's that door that i couldn't open before oh there's a thing down here Oh, there's a man's down here. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I call this one Giant Chaos Fireball, and you dodged it. Okay, <laughs> well... And I'm being stabbed to death. Anytime I try to, like, get at all cocky in this game, it's just like, eat shit, you fucking pleb. You think you could fight me? Dark Souls? That's, that's the most fucking, like platonic ideal of playing a Dark Souls game is getting just good enough to get overconfident and then it fucks you right up. Yeah. I hate these guys. They they keep jumping around. Yeah. Why are they even here? We, we couldn't figure it out. We tried to look up like what these guys are in the lore last week and we couldn't figure out anything. Yeah, they're just gremlins. Someone fed these MFs after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try fireballing. That's a good trick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... And now I'm out of flasks and... Hey. You got one. And well, you got that shortcut. I do have that shortcut, that's true. Oh yeah, I can just go back to that other one and have my... My thing there. Yeah, and I there's no... Sorry, because you have what? Uh, well, I have a bonfire kindled over there. Oh, did you kill kindle that one? Yeah, then you're good. And there's no enemies between there and here. I guess there's a silver knight. No, not silver knights. The big knights, but those are so slow, you can kind of just run past them. Oh my god, please die. I hate these guys. These I guys hate are that the little backup. They're like one of the most irritating enemies. Their melee ah, attacks do lightning damage too. Yeah, which really sucks. Why do they land on the ground like Spider Man? That's well, because it's cooler that way. It is, it is cooler that way. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna try and zoot past these guys. Please, sir. Sir! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I have the shortcut now. You do? Um. Oh, Book of the Guilty. Yeah, I love that. I love it. Um, what's. Where's. Where's the humanity, though? You know? Where's the humanity? Do you wanna know how to get some? I would love to get some humanity up in here. So. I don't think it, it it is a drop anywhere in Anorlando, but those painting guardians that you fought in that room with the big painting, uh -huh. if you kill, like, six of those without dying, oh. you'll get some humanity. Right, okay. <laughs> Zab Zip says, Half of Dark Souls is suggestive of a really elaborate, planned, unseen lore, and the other half feels like they throw things together for a prank. <laughs> There are literally, like, prank items in Dark Souls um, that are, like, put there 
that mean nothing mm -hmm. uh that miyazaki has confirmed in interviews like no we were we put that in there just to make people fucking think it was going to be important but it's nothing incredible ice key we ice gotta, key gotta get the ice key and then you Ex you connect dark souls to dark souls 2 <laughs> <laughs> um run all the way back to the sewers and kill a bunch of rats yeah that sounds good um how do I get into the church again, where those guys were, the painting? Um, well, now that you have that shortcut, they're just, uh, you go across that bridge and just turn right. Oh. You gotta use the PlayStation Link cable. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. You almost had me. Waha! Waha! Yeah. Ninja Ronald. You've heard of Ninja Gaiden. Now here's Ninja Ronald. You you could also, if you wanted to, just set your bonfire checkpoint back to that original one, if I'm, that one's already kindled. I'm gonna do that, yeah. Okay. So wait, over he out here? And then just back over, wait. Yeah, no, oh. you, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really not looking forward to this boss. <laughs> I know what the boss is, everyone. I don't know. So, like, I don't know most stuff about Dark Souls, but I do know some things just from watching, you know, people's LPs and stuff. Um, right. Or like, and they're, like, famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are famous. They're celebs. <laughs> yeah. They've got a uh, cameo account and everything. Yeah. Pikachu and Snorlax says job on that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's actually really accurate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to what they do. Yeah. Alright, this uh. time it's gonna be different. This time I'm just gonna go see ya and he's gonna hit me and I'm gonna die. No, you won't die. What's this say? I need to I need this important message. It's okay. lore, probably. Everyone knows the two brothers. It's just called two brothers. A tale of two sons. Imminent sorrow. Wow. That's just like the entire game. Yeah. Uh, that's a favorite message of people to leave, for sure. Don't give up, skeleton. Yeah. This is like sad Mario 64 level. Yeah. <laughs> Need humanity. Ugh, don't we all? Right, that was the other thing, too. Is, uh, last week, you just found like message after message of people just saying, yeah. Need humanity. <laughs> I need to kill these Assassin's Creed. Over here? Are they in here? Um, so... The farther back. What is? Oh wait, where's the? The bonfire's up this elevator up this thing. Way. Okay. Yeah. And then there's like a separate. There's that one elevator thing that you can turn with a crank. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, it, you wouldn't be able to kindle it, but there's actually another bonfire over there too. If you another want one. Another bonfire. Mm-hmm. A third secret bonfire. Yeah. Wow. It's not that secret, it's just you turn the crank twice instead of once, and it's at the bottom. Oh. Uh. I think we had, we had decided, right, like, if, if there's a bonfire... If there's a bonfire and I'm, you. like, in dire straits, and we and no one wants to watch me do it again, <laughs> like... <laughs> then, uh, then I think, yeah. This game is just slow Sonic 06. Wow. Holy shit. Powerful. Um, I'm trying to think if Ronald kisses a human woman. Uh, I mean, that would be very dangerous for everyone involved. Yeah. Wanderer's boots. Listen, Sonic doesn't kiss a human woman. Sonic is dead, and a human woman kisses him to bring right. him back to life. That's true. That's like a very different thing. So wait, did I already, does that count? Because I was, I rested at it? Yeah, that counts as like your checkpoint now. Uh... If you kiss Ronald, you get like red Dorito dust all over your face. Oh my god! I wish Ronald <laughs> oh, was no. human again. Um, <laughs> no, so you gotta, do have one humanity. I gotta go back down here. Yeah. Oh right, I have one, but I need to to kindle. Yeah, you need uh, one to be human and then one to kindle. And if you die, you lose that humanity. So yeah. I think you've been saving. I've been it. saving it, yeah, so that I could kindle the other one. What does um, Ronald taste like? Oh my god. I mean beef jerky. Like beef he, jerky? He's just a living beef jerky man. 
<laughs> kind of like a like a greasy like slim jim type yeah he, he's okay. basically yeah you guys gotta see ronald though in his true human form he truly is beautiful ronald um, yeah if ronald tastes like a friend <laughs> your friend's made of beef jerky i guess uh wait which way am i going uh down these stairs down the stairs down the stairs all the way down yeah i don't think you need to turn the crank again there's like three levels of this crank yeah i'm not ready for level two of the crank i'm not ready for crank high voltage <laughs> right yeah <laughs> Ronald hasn't even come back to life from the, like the adrenaline poison yet yeah no wait in here oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay my understanding is, according to what I read, these guys, if you kill, like, six to seven of them or whatever in a row, you will get, like, just soft humanity, is called. Yeah. Um, just add it, so. I can't wait to, like... Oh, no. No, you don't. You can't trick me. Oh, hell yeah. Assassin's Look at that. Creed. It's a terrible game. Get out of here. Ezio here didn't get the memo. Oh, wait, I already got one. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. Whatever. God. I'm just, like, looking at this big painting, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't wait to fucking, like, Mario 64 into that shit or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. Done. Done. Easy game. Easy life. Got humanity. Ronald has the highest luck stat. He's so powerful. So if you want to get that second bonfire or third bonfire, I guess, um, you can get it from here, by the way, from this elevator. Is it? Should I bother doing that? Um, I think it's an easy... Okay. I think it's an easier run from this bonfire to the boss than it is from the other bonfire. Oh, okay. Because you can skip the Silver Knights this way. I do like the idea of skipping the Silver Knights. Wow, this is making me really nauseous for some reason. Oh, no. Ronald, look away. Uh, and now it's at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. Down the spiral staircase. Oh. Blackjack attack does say, does take longer because you gotta constantly crank it. Oh. I'm always getting slowed down by constantly cranking it, so that's it's, definitely... Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's a part of the build, right? With Ronald is like, you know... Yeah, you're gonna lose time with that, but what does this do? So just bring the elevator down here? Yeah, in case you died and the elevator was oh, uh, up right. above or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the other, I guess, trade-off here is that you you don't lose Estes fighting the Silver Knights Spark as much. it up. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn? Hmm. What's that do? Hmm. Oh, Miracles. Well, I don't really do those. No. So not a not a faith build on Bronald here. Bronald's sort of a faithless man. Um, Believes in look, nothing but himself. He does look like a monk, kind of. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, guess what, everyone? We're gonna reverse Bronald's hollowing. So hell yeah. I'm gonna eat a little thing real quick. If you look really closely at those... Oh, uh, wow. The, uh, I just saw him, like, fill out. Like, his model just, like, <laughs> thickened with all the flesh. He inflated. Yeah. It's just... Bronald... Okay, here's how Bronald unhollows. He puts his thumb in his mouth and then just kind of blows on it and it sort of inflates him back to normal. Right, right, right. Yeah, kind of like a, like a Who Framed Roger Rabbit type situation. And now we get to see the fucking absolute lad. The fucking absolute <laughs> unit. And wait till you see him take this helmet off. You're going to lose oh, yeah. your fucking mind. You're not ready for, for this man. Because he hasn't fully inflated until he's taken the helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> This David Schwimmer motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to make him look like David Schwimmer. <laughs> I know. I just tried to make the most pleasant looking man that I could in the Dark Souls character <laughs> creator. And I made this. <laughs> His eyes are so big. <laughs> I know. He looks like a fucking bug or something. Like, <laughs> and yeah, I did give him the cleric hair out of irony. I feel like if 
There, in, in any other context, like Bronald, a picture of Bronald could be like creepy pasta of like, uh, yeah, there's aliens that try to look like mm -hmm. humans, but they don't quite understand like what human proportions are. So like their human right. disguises are imperfect. Hey, how does his head in that? Hmm. Well, we, we've established that he's kind of like flexible, so he oh, deflates true. that part. The problem is when he uh, condenses his head down, another part of him has to get bigger. Oh. Got to redistribute that mass. Yeah, Ultimo Giant Man says he looks like an Attack on Titan sicko, uh, or Attack on <laughs> Titan Giant, which is, I don't think is the first time that someone has has said that. Shoving a balloon into a Pringle skin. <laughs> uh, oh, is that is that Gwyn? Uh, I think that is Gwyn. Or Zeus. Is that Gwyn? Gwyn is basically Zeus. He's Zeus. Yes. Wait, yeah, that's just Zeus, right? Because he killed all the Titans or whatever. Yeah, the dragons, the and he's lightning to do it. But it's basically the same thing. It's basically in the beginning of time, the world was like this amorphous mass with no like with where time didn't really exist and yeah. there was no death. And then he showed up and was like, "Pagow!" It's like, what if, what if there were different things though? Like, what if there yeah. was like heat and cold and stuff? Heat and cold, life and death, but then, disparity. But then the universe is going to run down or something? Yes. So the they, they kindled the first flame and like ignited the great age of fire, and now the fire is going out. And the mm. age of darkness is uh, about to begin. And um, you have come here basically kind of unrelated to any of that stuff. Um, you're just trying to... Well, you got thrown into an asylum because you were undead. Right. And then uh, some guy and was like, hey, dipshit. Took me up and took me back. Yeah, some guy was like, hey, you got to go do the thing. And I was like, well... I mean, I'm not really doing anything else. Yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, this guy gave me this key. Wait, how do I get back there? Um, turn the lever in the opposite direction that you just tried. Everyone's telling me about the furtive pygmy. I don't know who that is. I don't think it's real. Um, in the intro to the game, you see all of Gwyn's cool friends. Was um, one of them called the furtive pygmy? Yeah, Okay, basically. I just forgot that then. Okay, so they did mention him. Yeah, totally. It's it, it's kind of a joke because um, they've never mentioned the furtive pygmy since. And in the in the intro, it's like here's uh, Grave Lord Nito. He unleashed miasma and death. Here's uh -huh. the Witch of Isolith and all of her cool daughters. And then it's like, and then the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. And they say <laughs> nothing else about him. Nice. Wait, is this? Wait. Uh, this is the wrong way to the boss. I'm so confused. Okay. He's basically Smeagol. That's what I was thinking of. Maybe just because I did just watch Fellowship. Oh, right. How was that? It was really good. I enjoyed nice. it a lot. I think when I was a kid, I, I didn't care for it. Mm. Um, because it like wasn't sci-fi and just like a bunch of reasons. I don't know. I wasn't really that into like fantasy stuff when I was a kid. But I was going to ask that next, actually. It's also just like a lot of walking. But like, I fucking love that shit. Like, the, I love how slow that movie is. Like, it's uh -huh. the first hour is just just hobbits just vibing it and it was the biggest fucking movie on the planet when yeah. it came out is the other Which weird thing incredible. about that Gotta go. I, I guess oh and, boy uh, that's no oof. iframes on that huh oof. Well, uh, no the jump i don't think so no oh now you're here oh that man is just like ah hey check it out you opened a shortcut huh tell you what i think of that please leave Oh, please stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Please stop. Ah, uh, you can't get upstairs. I found out your weakness. <laughs> Seems like my Estus flasks are not restoring as much health as they used to, or is it just that I have more health? You might just have more health. Okay. Because I think you have pumped a little bit into health uh, in the last couple streams. Yeah, I have. Um, let's see. Yeah, 21. Oh yeah. my god, these guys! <laughs> They're just fucking ready to go. Wait, could they kill him if they hit him? If they uh, hit him, yes. Oh shit, I hope they don't hit I'm him. I'm pretty sure. You could throw some fireballs at these guys. They're just lining up for it. They are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ultimo Dan Man says Three Stooges effect, and it really is like a Three Stooges gag. <laughs> Yep, it's just like these guys all trying to get in at the same time. <laughs> it's like Mr. Burns. Mr. And Burns. All the diseases that? that he has. They're all trying oh. to get him at once. Uh huh. 
I always one of the um, disease based. <laughs> hey, you can't hit me up here. We've established that. <laughs> he just kind of slid up those stairs. He's like, well, I can't walk up them, but I'm gonna turn you, you go. into Titanite. Oh yeah, you can bank those souls, huh? Bank them. Uh, my favorite disease-based Simpsons gag was always Bart um, telling the uh, antibodies in his body to stop oh, fighting the cold. That's very good, too. We're getting orders to stand down. <laughs> and uh, the, the viruses are uh, Snake. The, uh, yeah. The crime man. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. Should I just up make my legs better? I guess. You could. Souls are pretty transient. Like so all is transient. Possessions are fleeting. Mm-hmm. Is that what uh, that Terrence guy said? That Terrence guy. Yeah. No, that's Buddhism, basically. Oh. I think a lot of this game. Yeah. I wonder. I mean, it's like I was just like thinking about this the other day, and I was like, I wonder if anyone's written anything about Dark Souls. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah. Literally, the oh, entire. Word? Game critic industry for the past <laughs> ten years has just been written, has just been writing about Dark Souls. But but I searched Narnia Dark Souls and I couldn't really find a lot. So like I'm gonna keep huh. looking. But like I'm pretty sure there is some like Narnia influence in Dark Souls. Um, also definitely some like um because that's like a that's a Hinduism thing. The uh, the running down of the universe of like oh sure um. That the universe basically cycles from like growth to decay um, oh yeah and that's just like a normal thing that happens that um, is a huge 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 element of dark souls lore that's cool that's cool um god i'm gonna become one of those people who's like really obsessed with elden ring aren't i yeah or, like, um or uh deep down oh my god deep down r.i.p <laughs> that game is never coming out no, <laughs> but yeah. it's Still hasn't been cancelled yet. Um, gorgeous view. Oh yeah, it is a gorgeous view. Well, it's the inside of a building. This part. Oh, I think. Oh, I think they may be the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh shit! But no. Oh. Oh, oh, Bronald. Wait. The oh. reason I wanted that other bonfire was so that I could have Solaire help. Oh, that's right. Well, you don't need the bonfire kindled. You just need to be human for that. That's true. Also, you could just get more humanity. That's true. Oh, you almost had me. Nikki says he's got stuff to say. Hey, let me in there. Uh, I can't right now, but give me a minute. I, think, and... I was going to say, I think Merritt is maybe preoccupied. Uh... Well, maybe I can in let him in if you want me to. Yeah. It'll probably oh. say, we already have a chat with these other people. Do you want to do this one? Yeah, no! Totally don't, will. you can't! Oh, this guy found out my secret. Chop. Chop. <laughs> Chop. Oh, oh, yeah. There okay. it is. Um, I'll start the call now. Okay. Hello. Hello. Where is he? Oh, uh, hey, you sound crazy. Oh, boy. Oh, I found bad, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm using a controller. Controller on PC. This is the PC version, right? This is the PC version of the game. There's no cussing or... <gasps> yes! <laughs> Friend! Yes! Come! Come with me! Hey, that's him. Please, Solaire, please, 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 Solaire, please, Solaire, please. Solaire, get attack. in here. Solaire, it's all, it's all up to you. Solaire, please, I need your help. I need jolly cooperation. <laughs> oh, God! Vicky, you do sound better, by the way. Okay, cool. Um, oh, there's two of them, huh? Did Solaire uh, go? He's up. Oh, he's, oh, well. Well. I don't want to, Solaire, bad. please, use your lightning. Yes, use your lightning magic. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. I can't backstab these guys, probably, can I? No, no, no. It's Not really these fools. Big. They're big! They've these... gotten much bigger since the last time I watched you play this game. They're yeah. big fellas. 
I'm not even doing so, that much damage to them. These aren't even the no, boss. No, they're not. Like, I actually fight these guys and then go through a door and fight a boss. No, you can just run past them. Oh. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> Solaire, are you good, buddy? Oh, yeah, he'll sick, figure it huh? out. No, Solaire's fine. He's sick. He's, he's, he's cool. He's got some juice, though, probably, right? I don't think he carries juice. Well, that's... Stupid. Solaire's kind of a uh, Solaire's kind of a real gamer. All right. I know this is a beast based economy. <laughs> oh, here we go, oh, Mickey. This no. is history. Oh, look at this man. I don't like him. Oh no, it's Star Fox. Oh wait. Oh fuck, Star, <laughs> Star Fox, Fox is, Fox is here. Star Fox and Peppy. <laughs> hey, oh, you no. know what I have to say to him at that merit? What? Remember Star Fox Good and luck. Peppy. All right, all right, all right. Solaire, Solaire, please. Solaire, are you there? Solaire, are you there, God? Are you there, Solaire? It's me, Bronald. <laughs> Daxamad says, oh, this is arguably the hardest boss in the game, in the base game. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, buddy. Hey. Please don't. Yes, use your lightning magic, Solaire. Lightning! Okay, well... Oh, it's not going to do, like, jack shit to Ornstein, because Ornstein is himself a lightning man. Yeah. I'm going to do jack shit to him, though. You Hell see yeah. That? that was a big Chop. hit. Yeah, big chops. Black Knight Sword, still doing the work. Still really good. Uh, the Willenium said, This is the boss where I gave up and stopped for, like, two to three years before coming back this past summer. <laughs> hey, Ornstein. Please don't do that to me. Please. Hey, Nikki, you you beat these guys before, right? No, I've never played this video game before. My what? Whole yeah. Hmm. I've I only played. No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! No, 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 no! Okay. Oh no, Solaire, please, Solaire, please, Solaire, don't die because if you die, then I have no one to take hits for me. <laughs> exactly. That is the absolute like. No, 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 no. Solaire, no! Uh. <laughs> please, Solaire, please, why? They're kind of- he's kind of gone now. Solera had to- had to take a nap. You can't fight two guys, okay? That's just impossible. That's like, not fair. It's... That seems like cheating. Yeah, 1v1 hmm. me. See what happens. You won't. Let me hit you with this. In later Dark Souls games, they start making you fight three guys. That's way too many guys. <laughs> what if I just run around until they get tired? Oh, well, no. Oh yeah, they probably have stamina bars too, right? They definitely don't. They oh. super, super, super don't. What if the big guy hits the, his friend with a hammer? Oh, that that's a clever tactic. Oh, I don't think it works. Huh, hmm. Mm. The rest of the hey. stream is going to be this, by the way. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, Norvestin does say uh, every enemy has a stagger bar. That is true. Um, this game has straight up has the Monster Hunter style, like, flinch uh, mechanic. Well, I have bad news. Uh, I don't have humanity anymore, so I can't summon Solaire. You mm. could, uh, you could go get more. Yeah, but it's not even gonna drop the one, so it's like, I'll have to do that every time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't just farm it and have it. That's bad. The only thing you could do is you can go all the way back through Sen's Fortress, return to the undead Berg, and go kill rats. <laughs> oh no! Fuck that! White soapstone, yeah, but I have to have humanity for that too. Don't I? I don't know. To oh, I have to have humanity to summon a friend. Versing TV says you don't need Solaire. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your uh, faith, but. You could also grind some levels. You haven't really done any of that. Yeah. You get humanity. Oh, you get that you can... Oh, yeah, I could get someone to summon me into their game. Right. If you get human form, I have a character you could summon and I could drop some humanity. Well... Oh, drop it on the ground. Yeah. I don't know if we want to, like... That, that feels maybe, like, a little bit... Um... That's like... No! I miscounted the man. It's not the way that the game was meant to be played. Right. If that happens naturally, if you, yeah. if you get, like, invaded and somebody does that... I had that happen to me in Dark Souls 2 recently. Somebody just invaded and dropped me a bunch of cool shit and just waved at me and left. The fastest grind, having those forest ghosts to jump off the cliff. 
You're not there yet. Yeah. Hey, come on. I also just think you can you can handle Ornstein and Smo is the other thing. I'm a pro gamer. You, you can make it easier on yourself by leveling up a little bit for sure. Yeah. Um but there are there are many ways to tackle Ornstein and Smo. What do they hate? Like what are they allergic to anything? Like if I give them like shellfish, will they just die and then I won't have to fight them? Um, I'm pretty sure you need to get later in the game before you can just pick up shellfish. Um, oh, I see, yeah. Uh, usually armored people are weak they to... They hate lightning, right? I mean, but Ornstein doesn't, because he is lightning. Because he is lightning. Uh, is Ornstein is weak to fire. Okay, well, I have fire. And Smo is weak to lightning. Smog? Okay. Smog. Smog, yeah. Uh, it, Ber it Benedict Cumberbatch. I think it's literally spelled the same way. Uh, I can get. I'm looking at um, protein shake bottles. Um, you know they got one that you can. It can be the. You know the triangle with the circle inside of Harry Potter. Um, oh, the Deathly Hallows. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They, got, they got one of those on there. That tattoo mm. that everyone had like eight years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now feels pretty fucking and weird now about it. I bet. Really, 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 really weird. Oh, uh, Ronald, it. you do just have a knife in you, bud. You've got oh, a couple. Poor Ronald. Oh, hey, no, guys, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> uh, Ultima Dan Man says Dark Souls is the bean dad of games. Think about it. Consider Think the design of the Ornstein. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. What if I made them fight each other? Yeah. Think about the design of that big hammer he hit you over the head with. <laughs> yeah. It's meant for crushing your fucking skull into a fine paste. <laughs> Wait. God. Norvestin says that they beat this level around 50 to level 50 to 60. Well, I'm at 45, so... Yeah, that's not that's too That's halfway bad. there. That's that's ha the mathematically halfway mathematically, there. Mathematically, yeah. Law of averages, you know? Yeah. You know, law of averages, if I do it enough times, eventually, mm -hmm. I will uh, I will get through it. Oh, you can get one with Star Wars on it. Oh, Star Wars? They got Star Wars yeah. now? Uh, I don't think you can do it with this Black Knight sword, but you can also take other weapons and infuse them with elemental properties like lightning mm. and fire. Okay, wait. How do I get back? Where Where am I even fucking going anymore? Do I have to push the crank? Uh, you were you wanted to do the painting guardian still, or? No, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and fight them. Okay. Uh, then you need to push the crank to go back up. Yeah. Uh -huh, now this is tough. Huh? Hmm. Is this that link? Are you referring to that link you just shared in the no, Twitch no, chat? No, I've, I've found something much worse. Oh, okay, great. I'm gonna get that in the chat for people to see. The soul level one strat is multiple clubs with the elements. Interesting. Mmm, that makes just, sense, yeah. You can just sprint to the door? Wait, what? Can, can you just run past them? Uh, okay, this is worse, Nikki, you're right. You're right, that is worse. <laughs> that is That is worse. And that's what I have to say about that. Uh, do you want to know a tip about the, the sprinting, about making this run to the boss easier? Sure. The big doors in front of the gate there, if you get on the other side of those big guys, you can open those up and make an even better shortcut. Wait, get on the other side of them, what do you mean? Uh, you know where you're fighting the two big knights with Solera oh, outside the boss Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Now, Ice Cream Sandwich says, you can sprint past all the guys, but sometimes they get a hit on you. Now, here's my uh, big tip. Uh, don't get hit. Don't get yeah, hit. Don't get hit. Like, it's kind of a really good... That's a really good press strat, Steve. I hate that mm -hmm. jump so much. Oh, the jump is the worst. It's, it's useless. It's terrible. I just, like, constantly get hit whenever I try to do it. No, please! I need a drink. Please let me drink my... Damn. Get that high C. They didn't let you drink your juice, huh? Just restart, yeah. Just restart the game. Yeah, just restart. I'm gonna build just for. I'm gonna make an anti Ornstein build. Yeah, yeah. Make, just, make a pyromancer. As the kids say, just wipe. Just wipe. Just wipe. Yeah, wipe. Just wipe. <laughs> hey guys, uh, this is a wipe. This is a wipe. Uh, just what wipe. What if a wipe, guys? What if you tell Ornstein and Smo this is a wipe? Do you think that they would just like jump mm. off a cliff? What if I find a an exploit? Um, hmm. Like, um, kind of, what, so do you want me to really quickly watch a speed run to see what they do for this Yeah, part? like, can I glitch <laughs> through the wall and then, like, sure. they take a million yeah. damage or something? Because that would, that would be, like, a big help if I could just... 
So I'm watching one now, and it says if you move left and right 148,000 times, you'll manipulate the memory enough Oh. Um, that you'll just clip through the ground and you'll teleport right into the wind circle. Oh, and you just skip to, yeah, you just skip to the, the credits. That's yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Future Skeleton Club bought Sekiro after the last stream. Cool. Hell yeah, that game is rules. Push way away. Do I have to pull the crank beat. again? Where am I going? I get so confused in here. Yes, push no, this uh, way. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because the that bonfire is at the very bottom. You want to be at the top. I see. Sorry, what was that, Nikki? I said Steven's game of GDC. Yes, exactly. honestly. Uh, it had nothing to do with GDC, but I played it at GDC. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> On that fucking one. tiny TV. I Okay, I'm starting to figure out. I have no... Uh, I do not intuit spatial relations. Much like, <clears throat> much like his, the man's daughter. Kind of a big tip here to just always remember. And it's literally what I use. It's just like a big stairs equals the boss run. The little stairs equals uh, the elevator. Mm. Hot tips. Hot Dark Souls tech, you know? Does anyone... I fucking hate these guys so much. So you get, you get iframes for rolling, but I don't think you get them yeah. for jumping. No oh, kind you don't need Cheetos. How are these guys so agile? They're like a million feet tall. But when, if they backstep away from you, you just run. Fuck them. They are just, worth some- Or sorry. I can just cut them. Yeah. Oh, hey. You want to party too, huh? Are you party? Are you party? Are you ski? You ski, bro? Which stairs would you least like to climb, says Black Attack? Climb those. Because <laughs> that's how you know. Oh, see, I've mastered the game now. Oh. See, the trick is to just kind of get him in the butt, move around in a circle. One of the first uh, projects I ever did for Danielle when Danielle was my boss the first time was cut together a video of me stabbing every single Dark Souls 3 character in the butt uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, set it to the menu music from Dark Souls 3. That's pretty good. So that's a uh, big hit from him. Yeah. What do you think about this? Oh, nice. Look at that dodge. Look at that hit. Big hits. Big hits. Give me your souls, <laughs> fool. The first half of Dark Souls is fighting all enemies. The second half is running from all the enemies. <laughs> it's really true. Yeah. Uh, Daximad also says yes to handed. I think you, like, that's the other thing too, is just like, doing what you are comfortable with, and you've spent a lot of time practicing just like, dodge rolling and yeah, two hand shopping. Yeah, I was them. mostly two handing stuff before, I just, with these guys, I think I got in the habit of using a shield. Yeah. I mean, with these guys it's pretty necessary, unless you're just like, dodge rolling all the time. The thing about the Black Knight Sword, and one of the reasons it's so good, too, is that it does a lot of stagger damage. It, mm. like, builds the, the invisible flinch bars really easily. Right, right. Hello, baby. Oh, I would love... Well, whatever. Uh, later on in the game, too, there are a couple of locations that you can go to just farm Twinkling Titanite really easily. Cool. God, I... Remember, God, I got so far off track early on. I like went and fought that butterfly and got killed. Oh yeah. Um. I. I mean, you can kind of do. Yeah, Ghost Town was you... horrible. Ghost Town would would suck there. Yeah. But you can do okay, a sorry. lot of stuff. Um, that was the ground that you stopped there. Hmm. It is still get yeah. That's a two hit. Oh, nice. That's a two hit. Look at that. The business so wait, the door is for... this way? Yeah, it's the opposite side of the boss fog wall. There's a lever on the left, I want to say, in the left corner that uh, opens it up. Oh, God. It's like these guys are there to protect Ornstein and Smo. Like, why? Like, they... It's just guards on guards on guards. Mm, that is true. Yeah, there's kind of... It's a layered system, right? Mm. So you, you have to pull the lever on the left. Um, cause it's like the little big knights on the inside, and then the big, medium sized knights in before Ornstein and Smo, and then it's Ornstein and Smo. There you go. Now you've got the shortcut. Cool. 
Jawbone Vat Run does say... Run past the fuck this game, says Norvestin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jawbone Vat says it might be worth killing the Lotrek for the stuff he drops if you haven't yet. Yeah, maybe I'll try him again. Now that uh, it's not too hard to get here. He does drop some dope stuff, I will say. Alright, uh, well, let's try him one more time. Okay, this time what I'm going to do is not attack. Okay. I'm just going to watch their patterns. Yeah, okay, kinda learn. so he does, a, uh, he does that. Yeah. That's his distance closer. Orange, uh, Smout does that. Okay. He backs up. He does that. Okay, that's his dash. He does that. So when he does right. that, I know not to do that. And Smo seems like a lot slower because, like, he's not really doing a distance closer. Like, okay. Well, he does hit me through my roll, which I don't love, and he does hit me before I have time to get up, and then I die. Okay. Um. But now you you do have more info now. I have more information now. about how precisely they fucking it's like i feel like if they didn't do a million damage they wouldn't be able to kill me i it, it's also a situation where if you you know um leveled up your you know got some souls leveled up your armor a bit you would you know take less hits or take yeah. less damage from the hits <clears throat> yeah that's true I think your most of your iframes on your roll are at the beginning of the roll, not okay. not at the end. Time for the return of Iron Bronald. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I mean, I could try. But first, I'm going to try and kill Lutrak. Iron, Iron Bronald. Iron Bronald. Um. Yeah, Iron Bronald. But I can't even use that Firekeeper Soul right now anyway right like, no well you could but that's her soul that's that one lady's soul wait is that fire ever coming back or no if you beat Lotrek, um you can bring her back yeah i think uh, the item i think even says that oh, i don't okay. think that's a spoiler or could you just use that to make your flasks better you could also just make but, the flask better but isn't she the one who makes your flask better uh, you can you go to any firekeeper to do that. Oh, I see. Do I get the bad ending if I? Uh, no. I just... <laughs> Dark Souls One. Uh, there's nothing you can do throughout the game to uh, alter your ending. There are multiple endings. There's two endings, but you can do all of it without having to do any preamble. Okay. Uh, on later monster. on in the series. Well, hard to say. Okay, I'm gonna go fight Lotrek. If oh yeah, no, it's this. Oh yeah, it's that guy. And arrows. What the fuck are those? Those are dragon slayer arrows. They use them to kill dragons. Uh, yeah. Uh, like in Skyrim. So uh, you can just use this uh, item anywhere in this big room to get yeah. to Lotrek. Oh, and you have a soul of the hero too. That's worth a lot. That's like twenty thousand, I think. Oh really? Yeah. What is morality in Dark Souls, you know, says Daximad. I'm invading the world of the guilty as a spirit of vengeance. Watch out. I'm coming for you. Oh, do you get like a cool like motorcycle that's on fire? Yeah. And I, I piss and it's on fire. Just like, oh, yeah, just like, like the guy. Movie. Just like that's the guy. Sick. <laughs> what if I do this? It's cool. Hey, Lotrek. Ultimo Dan says, a man says, the fucked up implication is that every bonfire has somebody nearby who is linked to it, and maybe most of them are dot 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 trapped underground? Right, wait, yeah. Uh huh. Where are the rest of them? Because there are. I have no idea. Yeah, that's confusing. Um, I, I wonder if you have to, if they just have to be alive, and maybe they're oh. like off in the world somewhere. Like I'm just staying at the Hilton, like in uh, two countries over. You guys can go deal deal with all this like weird fucking fire stuff. I don't know. They got guys over in that country that just like kill people like me for just for no reason. Just for no reason. Now who are these men? Um, uh, they're <clears throat> hateful. The guy in the yellow armor um, is like an NPC that Merritt found earlier and talked to, and he killed. No, a friend I can't. Of I, but I killed him. Oh, a target destroyed, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, so counts. that counts? You got the souls. You got the souls, so that it counts. counts. You got the it item. It still counts. It still counts. Still the guilty counts. pay the price. 
Oh, so it wasn't a real death because you were a ghost? Yeah, I was a ghost. Okay. It was my phantom. Yes. Uh, uh nice. yeah. Right. Wait, but what did I... Wait, did I get it? Yeah, you got it. You got a bunch of items. It just, it just showed you when you rezzed Firekeeper Soul. You got it back. Oh, yeah. You both died and succeeded. Uh, okay, what's this rare? Five humanity, too, if you want to go kindle that other bonfire. Oh. Ring of favor and protection. Boost HP, stamina, load, breaks when removed. So, I'll say this. it's The breaks with removed is punitive, to be to be clear. But otherwise, this is, like, one of the best rings in the game. So I just can't take it off. Just don't take it off, but it's giving you, like, stuff you're always going to want, which is more equip load, more stamina, more HP forever, as long as you're wearing it. Okay. Um, this is my lucky find things ring, and this is my... This boost defense while HP is low? Yeah. I feel like I can replace that one. I think you can replace that one pretty safely. I never use those rings. Fuck yeah. Wait, whoa! Whoa. My health yeah. went up. Look at that. And your your stamina. Damn. Um, does Bronze only have two fingers? Is that why he can only wear two rings? Yeah. So in the in the this is like a classic D and D thing. Oh yeah, it, you can only wear two magic rings or whatever. Right, because if you have more than one, you have one magic ring on each hand. Because if you wear more than one on a hand, the magic interferes with each with itself. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, what um, if I replaced all of my fingers with ring fingers? Hmm. Okay. 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 Oh okay. wow, my equip load. Uh, I can equip some new stuff. Now. You sure can. Dare I? Dare I dream? Um. Well, wait. Where is it? Where is it? Iron Bronald. <laughs> He's back. Uh. Where's that gonna put my thing up to? I don't know. And the, uh, this one, the UI is not as good as in later games, so I think okay. you can kind of just have to that, put it on. That puts me at half if I put black iron armor on. Okay, can you still roll? Can you still fast roll? Let's find out. Um, I don't think I can fast roll. I think I can normal roll. Um, I think you can still... Uh, wait, what's math. The, what's the bonus, though? Let me see. What's the difference? Is it worth it? 31 versus... Um, 68? <laughs> That's a big leap. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this fucking... <laughs> I yeah! can still roll pretty well. You can. He's so thick. Yeah, I could become Havel Bronald, but I think I'll be too... Um, I'll be too chuffy. Iron Bronald. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> we love this to is, see it. This is the Tarkus armor, right? It's the Tarkus armor. So you're paying tribute to your friend who saved you. I love Tarkas. He died, but yeah. I love him. God, he died I love reasons. him. He fucking <laughs> he fucking <though>. died. <laughs> yeah, now Ronald is his underbelly is covered. Oh yeah. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do we think? I mean, I is feel like it'll take less damage. Mm. Is that a euphemism for taint? No. Underbelly? What? What's? Where's the underbelly on his, a, his, on Ronald? Stomach. The stomach. That's just the, the regular belly. <laughs> But not if he's crawling around on all fours. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's, I still think that's the belly. Dear the Delirious says that armor looks very funny with a thin helmet. That is very yeah. true. Yeah. Look, I want a Bronald with a, a thick body and a real tiny head. <laughs> yeah. Bronald with the good helmet. Uh, <laughs> Bronald with a good... Also, what's great about this helmet is it covers his face when he's hollowed. Yeah. And no one really wants to see it because it's disgusting. Aww. Aww. Have you seen it? You've seen it, Nikki. Yeah, but why are you being so mean to Bronald? It's horrible. Remember no. last week, everyone was, or two weeks ago, everyone was like, <laughs> why are you being Bronald? He's just swimming in that <laughs> armor set. <laughs> Zach says thick Bronald and long. Oh, that's jacket. not good. <laughs> Uh, I love oh, the, he the heavy roll. You just like fucking just flop like a dead fish. 
it just fucking like breaks physics. That's just not how like momentum works. Right. But it it is when you, you don't just like that slam way. into the ground and then sort of like careen a little bit. Now, if you leveled up a little and increased your your stamina, that also increases your equip load. So you ah. might be able to wear that helmet. All right, let's fucking level up. Bronald will kill all. Bronald needs souls. Bronald needs some souls. Wait, how many souls does? this give me oh it's like twenty thousand. you can almost start you get to a bonfire pop that i bet you can level up at least once or twice Shop. it's only 10. is it only 10 okay still i bet you can level up uh with 14. uh you're gonna have to kill your way to a bonfire right well i mean i'll just go back down to oh one, you can probably, just go back. but what if you killed those two big knights standing if outside I just check will it oh it doesn't tell me how many you need yeah in dark souls 2 they add that I'll just kill these two knights, and then it should be good. Unless cool. it's like 20,000, in which case, Jesus. Um, no, uh, Nagubanaga says, uh, could you buy a twinkling and boost your sword? Oh, I could do that, too. Yeah, if you can't level, you could always do that, and more damage is more damage. Iron Bronald. So powerful. Oh! Oh! Oh, well. Well... Well, well, uh, you swung too early. I wasn't even off the ground yet. But what if I just stayed on the ground? Then they couldn't hit me. Yeah, that's Monster Hunter rules. Well, no, they do just hit you with the shield, yeah, I guess. Still hitting you. Kick them off the side, maybe? You can't kick these guys. They're too large. I think you just need to get the timing of the rolls down. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Now you are gonna run into a big room full of gargoyles. I know. Go Help! Oh god. But this no. is good. this is this is good. This is a learning experience. Well, I guess lost all those. No, because you could just pick up your bloodstain. Yeah, that's true. You're right there, so. Yeah. Does Bronald have parents? Probably. One he once did. Hmm. How old is Bronald, Merritt? That's yeah. I guess that was the question I was going to ask. Oh, next. That's a great question. I don't know. Um, he's because his parents are gone. That means he's unless there was some well, sort of. Well, he's tragic undead, tragic. right? So. Right. He could be very old. Bronald, he's either sixteen or thirty-six. Or 36. <laughs> <laughs> the um. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah, Bronald is wide now, Juan. Um, yeah, he put on the the he put on the Iron Tarkus armor. <laughs> Iron Tarkus. Iron Bronald, guardian. Ronald Bron Bronald is thirty or forty years old and does not need this as Xenomas. <laughs> <laughs> does Bronald listen to Phoebe Bridgers? <laughs> asks Jackson Matt. I'm not entirely sure who that is, and I still do um, get her confused with Phoebe she's Bridgewater. She's the one from Fleabag. Oh. Oh, see, you <laughs> got it wrong. Mm, yeah, that's kind of the other way. Poorly. So I think actually, Merit, like honestly, fighting these knights is good because it it will help teach you. They 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 have such a wind up on their attacks the game, that's so telegraphed. It, it teaches you. It, it teaches, teaches you over time. To become a better. Where are my souls? Uh, oh, they're, are uh, they over by the shortcut door? Oh, yeah, they're by the guy. Because it's always ten seconds behind wherever you were standing when you died. I think is how it works. Gimme, 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 gimme. So, yeah, you can use these guys to kind of practice your iframes on your dodge roll. Mm. Or you can get hit. Or I could just, like, get hit. Get fucking hit. Ha! Oh, they do that fucking back hop. That's unfair. That guy's like, oh, oh my friend. <laughs> I'll never see him again. <laughs> Until we come back to life again. <laughs> or rest at a bonfire, I guess. Could you do that real quick? <laughs> no. Oh, I saw that one coming. That's okay. Aw, oh, nice try, Iron Marcus.
Wah! Oh, good job. Wah good job. Nice job. Okay. I think I want to make my sword hurt more. I mean, that's the, probably the safer option right now. Oh, look at this idiot. He can't get through the door! Oh, uh, Willenium, I don't think she's slow rolling right now. She was when she was wearing the um, Iron Havel, or the Iron Havel, the yeah. Havel helmet. I'm regular rolling, I think. Yeah, because slow is just like when you can see like the chonk when you hit the ground. Right. This is mid rolling. To get to get the actual fast roll, you have to be under twenty five percent load. So you're basically mm. going naked. No. Uh, Versing TV says leveling up weapons is better than leveling up character. Which yeah, that is uh, especially at this stage of the game. That's definitely true. Mm. For the amount for the cost. Sir. The poise in is stuff pretty good with a great sword. Hmm. So always go yeah, fight Havel in his own armor. I mean, oh, I will yeah. go fight him at some point, but um, it would take me like two hours to get back there right now. Right. That um, that ring he drops is really good, though. I do. I understand why someone would. It's um, the one ask you to that get makes that. your you can carry stuff better. Or? Yeah, I think it adds just a flat 25% to whatever your current um, equip load is. It just adds oh. another 25% on top of that. Hell yeah. Is it that helmet, one of the best rings. or is Bronald's head teeny tiny baby size? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's the helmet, it's also the armor. The armor is really chunky, and the helmet is really narrow. Um, it's just, it's just such a such a skinny head, a Pringles can head. I think someone called yeah, it in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twinkling tight knights. Well, we have established though that um, Bronald is kind of made of a sort of uh, flexile material mm -hmm. and can inflate and deflate parts of his body. Oh, I need two. Damn. Also, hi Nico. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Text of head pinhead Larry type beat. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Um, pinhead called Bronald Pinhead Larry from SpongeBob SquarePants. God. Um, I mean, I can show you what it looks like without any of this. Oh yeah. If you want to see for, that? For, for all the people, newcomers. For the people who just tuned in. Are you ready? I don't want to look. I'm not <laughs> <going>. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. What I love about naked Bronald versus normal Bronald is that he kind of like reverses his body mass. It's, it's like fucking it, it he gets top heavy instead of bottom heavy, which mm -hmm. is fun. Fucking Wait, living the shadow wearing? of a man. Acorn <laughs> looking ass. What gloves was I wearing? Uh you had the iron armor and then the silver knight head. Chester I, Cheetah wishes. I think it was the ones that I put stats into, probably. Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Balder Gauntlets are really good, regardless. And those do look like the right legs, from what I remember. Yeah. Punish Bronald. Chaos. We've established that um, when you kiss Bronald, he flakes off like uh, Doritos dust, and yeah. he tastes like beef jerky. He looks like the Pizza Hut Noid cross with the IRL owner of Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> God. <sighs> All right. I mean, I don't know now what I'm... Hmm. I guess I'll just get in there again. Just do it again? Just see what happens. You're a little low on Estes. You're at yeah. about half. But that you could this could just be a practice this run too. Practice. Just, this doesn't count. Know? This one doesn't count. No, we're not even going to archive this video because this is all practice. That's absolutely not. I'm not even trying. <laughs> this isn't even me playing. <laughs> it's his little brother. This is my little brother. <laughs> I would fall asleep. Uh, the controller isn't plugged in. Um, <laughs> this is Merritt's son. <laughs> this is my son. <laughs> It's just gonna fucking start sending Ornstein and Smo Xbox Live messages saying that their fucking uh, throws are cheap. One v one me. If they one v one me, I would win. But they can't. Yeah. It's sad. One v one me for two thousand Microsoft points. Like Put it's sad. Really? Line. Oh god, yeah. Oh uh, my god, that fucking hit. Wowzer! Wowzer! <laughs> 
throttled! Throttled the absolute fucking mad lad. What the fuck, man? Chop. What has he been eating? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you just do that three more times and you're good. <laughs> I should say which has my teammate Solaris feeding. <laughs> <laughs> Our econ is so bad, Solaire. Yeah, Solaire, it's, it's, you're fucking up our that, econ. Oh. Wait, why doesn't the hammer hurt his friend? That's silly. That's, it that seems is like silly. it should, right? Yeah. And it, like, if I accidentally hit John in the knee with a hammer, <laughs> right? Like, he'd be mad at me. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't oh. love it. <laughs> that was a big hit, buddy. <laughs> okay, oh, you didn't no, even let no, me. You didn't even let me. I. I I was stunned. Oh, you gotta let me get God. out of my stun. As you were dying, the, the top message terrible. in the chat from Adam. OMG, this is a great <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, hubris. No, we said that was a practice run. That was, that a, was practice. a practice That one run. didn't count. Yeah, that one didn't count. That we was just, research. We were just telling So him. what we learned in that run is that I hit him like eight times. Like a, He's like a, basically an, a Mega Man boss. I hit him like mm. eight times and he dies. And then it's easy, easy game. Right. Naga now, Naga says it would have been unfair to kill him on a practice run. Yeah. Now what if, what uh -huh. if though, just bear with me. Oh! What if, what if I get in there with a bunch of flasks mm -hmm. and uh, just eat this. what if I, I mean, it's I, not gonna help me if, if I, if they stun, there. if they stun lock me, but what if I bring a friend? Oh, oh, yeah. What if Draw I find a echo. friend? Now, Draw I do need to see Bronald's fa beautiful face again. Mm -hmm. Now no, that it's, uh, now that it's like flesh that face. Either. No, <laughs> well, no, this one's good. He looks, he looks like Coconut Head from Nasty <laughs> Classified. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what you're talking about. I'm no sorry. Idea what the fuck what that mean. is. <laughs> this is worse. It's good. He's so pleasant looking. Look at him. It's, hold on. I'm gonna find a picture of coconut. He's so coconut oh my god. Head Ned's declassified. <laughs> this he just looks like the owner of Little C. <laughs> this fucking. <laughs> oh my god. His oh, huge, huge him. eyes. He's, he looks like Mr. Burns when he when people think he's an alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he's on when he's high. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Here, Juan, Juan uh, confirmed that he is a uh, Ned's declassified going to school yeah. ass nerd. I've put him. I've put it. I've put a picture <laughs> from of Coconut Head in the chat. <laughs> I'm looking at this picture now. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> what? He looks like a billionaire that proudly cuts his own hair. Says, oh, right, my oh my god. Coconut Head is definitely wearing a wig in this shot, right, Nikki? Absolutely, yes. Okay, good. He does, he does not look like that in <laughs> in their real life. Can you imagine if you were on a Nickelodeon series and they forced, they said no, if you want this were role, thirteen, <laughs> yeah, thirteen, and they were said like, hey, if you want to be fucking famous, kid, you fucking cut your hair like this. Wait, is like Ned's this classified? Not a cartoon? No, no it's a live action what television am I thinking program. Hey, uh, on. Rugrats. Uh, no, I'm thinking of Ned's Newt, which is Who? a Canadian show. Oh, yeah. That was terrible. That was way, that's way pre-Ned's Declassified. Oh, uh, okay. Ned's Declassified is about a child who has a cool journal um, mm. that gives you tips on how to survive middle school. Oh. Uh, Ned's Newt was uh, syndicated here in the States on the Fox for Kids block of animation. Oh. No, guys, please. I got to beef with you. Oh yeah, see classic tip. I got them to stab each other. Oh, <laughs> and they kind of get stuck. They get stuck together. Their spears get all twisted up. Mm, now right. he's up here, right? So yeah, on your, on your up left. Here? Mm -hmm. Oh, but, on your left, like in the movie. Yeah, just like that one. No. Uh, remember, there's also that arrow guy, though. Yeah, I got him. I no scope this guy. Oh fuck yeah. Um. Chop. Reboot. Chop. Oh, hey, don't come up here. No. Oh, yeah, they can come up here. Don't. Please? Stop. Don't. I need to summon Solera, and I can't if you're over there. No, don't. You need your friend. Don't. Please? Please leave. Can you loop around and come down the other staircase on the other side of the, the level? Okay, he's going. I think he's going. I yeah. think they're, they're getting tired. Ned's new was what if a boy owned the genie from Aladdin? Yeah, that basically is 
Now that I think about it, that basically is what it is. Is that could the Wait, new isn't Grant that wishes? What the new is? had like magic powers and stuff. Oh, okay. it turned into like a big. It basically turned into the genie. I remember that. Aladdin's like fifteen. <laughs> Boy, he shouldn't Elvis be getting married dead. then, huh? Oh. Yeah, but it's old times, so. Yeah. Uh. He's gonna it was die old at times thirty. Brown, you know? Even so, it's fine. No, I mean, I look, look listen, it's medieval times. Like, he's going to die at, like, 30. So right. he should definitely get married at 15. All right. So That's why everybody wishes for immortality for from the genes. Ch -ch 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 Charlie cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> this Come is on, the run. This is Adam. Yeah. Come on, Solaire. Yeah, I just need to get that Solaire. And once Solaire's in here, it's fucking over. Wait, where is he? He's, he takes a little bit. He, he has to while. actually physically walk into the Oh, boy. Door. That's oh, a big one. Wow. Line. That's tough, huh? As long as you can heal, and if Solaire would just get his ass in here. There he is. Okay. He's gonna yeah, draw some right, aggro now. Pick a big one, huh? No, that's fine, because basically what NPC summons do in this game is just draw aggro. That's what they like, live for. They that's live for rude. this shit. Hey, Smoke? Don't they have dreams and aspirations? Piss oh, off. That's, that's, that's bad. Now, I will say one thing. I don't wanna. I don't wanna uh, change your oh. opinion about what you're doing here. Uh, you get different loot depending on which one you kill first. Oh. It is generally accepted that it is harder to kill Smo first and then Ornstein than the other way around, too. Well, I mean, Merit's got it, though. Yeah, I think, I mean, as long as Solera keeps that aggro up and, like, just Ornstein's kind of like, oh, well, never mind, then I think you're fine. I think you got Smo here. You're doing so much fucking damage! <laughs> Oh, what a roll. Oh, good job! Hey, oh. Smo? Chop! Eat fucking shit. That's Chop. Hoggers. Chop! Hey, Smo? Sorry, pal. You got got. Easy game. Easy, easy life. Game, easy life. Is he gonna learn, like, new moves now because I killed his husband? What? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they, no, they wouldn't do that. Oh, no, he's gonna yeah. go into... Ca oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's oh, chaos no. transforming. Oh fuck! Oh Is shit! He getting bigger? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Make my monster <mother> grow! <laughs> no, it's he fucking just Goldar. He just became yeah, Goldar. All your Megazord in. He's literally Goldar right now. Hey, don't. And he also oh got all his health God. back. Hey, oh. what? He got oh, all his health back. Up. Hey, Solaire. Hey, Solaire, get in on this Solaire, one, I'm bud. I'm gonna grab my souls real quick, okay? But by a slice off of this one, baby. <laughs> Retrieval. I love the localization in the Prepare to Die edition of this game for the, some of the stuff like you defeated. Whoa! That's a big oh. hit. Oh, and now he knows his husband's moves, huh? Yeah, yeah. he kind of knows how, what his husband did. But you can. You've got a lot of Estus to burn through still. Solaris is still tanking. He's at, what, like 80% health right now? Not even that? Oh, he, he has like no health. That's the guy in the box, right? Yeah, Solaire's almost dead. Yeah, he's almost dead. Oh, that's bad. Well, it didn't take any health. Though. That looks bad. Oh no, uh, it did there. It did take a it did take a lot of health. Uh, you know, for for us getting stabbed through the heart and then electrified, I would I would have sure. thought maybe more health. Solaire, can you draw aggro, please? Uh, Get your fucking job. You but... have one job. Solaire, please. Okay. okay. Solaire, okay. please. Okay. Dodge. Ah. Solaire, you're doing so little damage, Solaire, please, Solaire. So, Solaire does very, yeah, he, his lightning bolts are supposed to be what does his most damage, and he just never uses them. Why does it, why? Because he's the fool. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Merit, 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 this is the run! This is the Eat one! fucking shit! Let's go! Fucking got his ass! Fuck. With Solaire still alive! Solaire, my man. I love you. Oh. I love you, Solaire. I love you. Let's fucking go! Oh. Woo! And now, in the lore, you are uh, legally married to Solaire. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> so that's, no, that's awesome, Merit, because uh, the shit that uh, he drops for beating him rules. Like, the like Ornstein's gear is cool as hell. Was that your third time doing that boss? It's like my fourth or fifth, I think. Damn. Incredible.
Yeah, N uh, Nagabanaga says that was what? Literally three tries? That was literally three tries, right? Damn. I guess I'm All just for like, that one of the hardest I'm just, bosses I'm in I'm just like a fucking epic gamer. Yeah, but I mean, I, it's, I just had like really good armor and weapons and stuff. So like, it's... It's like whatever, you know? It's not really me. It's just... Solaire. Yeah, it didn't take any work or skill to get those or, or anything like that. No. <laughs> Adam says, I don't like games that are hard. Merit Kate to me is six months ago. <laughs> Audrey512 says, Merit is the Queen's Gambit of Dark Souls. And Doxy Med oh says, God. this is making me mad. <laughs> <laughs> Phil the Snowman says, it's not you, it's Bronald. It's true. Bronald's energy is too powerful to be contained. Oh my God. No, straight up, Merit. Like. <sighs> Yeah, this I've, is basically a game for like three to fives. Um, yeah. I've I've watched they, they let's plays. This game K to A. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've watched let's plays of this game where people have given more tips and more help than we have been giving you, and it's still taking them like twice as long to get through to stuff. Fair, I haven't given Merit a single. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? Do I go up here? Yeah, you go up there. That looks like a drill. Oh, okay. It's an elevator. What if this just fucking smush you into the ceiling? <laughs> you lost all your souls. I did it! Yeah, you did it. I'm gonna rate this. Three. Out of five. Out of five. <laughs> <laughs> I rated it. Nice. You gotta check those elevators? What elevators? elevators there's a one elevator i didn't know there's more i don't know if there's more yeah spark it up baby ne hold on hold on watching ned's declassified and x play at the same time so how do you how do you get the x play ones but not the ned's declassified ones we're not that much older you're not that much older than i am <laughs> I th mm. So I did not particularly care for um, live-action Nickelodeon uh, after a certain uh, era. I was oh. into Clarissa Explains It All. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's Lotrex armor. Oh, really? Yeah, Damn. it's good. Well, not as good as Iron Marcus's armor. No, but it's just a way lighter is the thing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um... I watched Clarissa Explains It All. I watched the Alex Mack show. Um, I watched the one where they fall into like the, the hole and they go to Dinosaur World. Of course. Uh, land Before Time? No. It was uh, after the Land Before Time. Because time travel was involved. Land of the Lost, says uh, Papa Bear Zach. I don't think that was actually what it was. Helm of Lutrak the Embrace, representing the goddess's Fina's, the goddess Fina's love. He forsook everything, for he believed in the goddess's love for him. Mm. How'd that work out for you, Lawtrack? Well, he's fucking dead now. Yeah, so pretty bad, I would think. Uh, was Alex back the one where she turned into a puddle? Asks Jabba yes. Bat, and yes. yeah, she she, she there was toxic that, there was waste falls on her, and then she yeah, gets she power. Car it's like basically a daredevil, except instead of going blind and becoming super strong, she can turn into goo. And I think she yeah. has telekinesis too. Yeah, there's a kid in Sky High, uh, a film I watched for a podcast that we will be recording very soon, um, where his power is he is Alex Mack. <laughs> oh, cool. Do they just call him that? Is yeah, that his like superhero name? It's Daredevil, but he melted basically. Oh, I watched Eerie Indiana. Oh, Alex Mack was a girl. Hmm? Yeah. Um, yeah, Eerie Indiana was, was good. Um, all right. What's this say? Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Gra hey, Merit, um, I, you don't have a ton of messages here, so I'm just going to take the place of what messages would normally be here. Grasp with both hands. Beautiful oh, no. view ahead. Oh, no. Oh, right. Oh, God. Amazing chest ahead. Ma'am? Um, Is that Riven? Ma'am? Yeah, she's kind of like a wish dragon. <laughs> oh, she seems nice. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Damn. This just this is <laughs> this. Wow. Okay. Uh, Papa Bear Zach asks, "Oh, this is a tits game." <laughs> one of one of them old steam titty games. I found what Alex Mack looked like today. Oh, you're going to give me the Lord Vessel? Yeah. Oh, hell yes. Oh, my God. Wait, what? You're fucking serious? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Halfway through the game, you unlock fast travel. <laughs> Inheriteth. Inheriteth the, the fireth of this if world if. Inheriteth. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Willow Lithium said, All I want to be is someone who can see a giant woman! A giant woman! Wow. Uh, uh, Papa Bear Zach, nobody in this game uh, moves their mouth when they talk. Right, they all just talk with their minds. What if I killed her? <clears throat> well, you could. I, uh, quick save before you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to uh, unravel the threads of fate. Yeah. What yeah. if I killed her? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. So she just gave me the Lord Vessel, which is what uh -huh. Framp yeah. said I needed to get. Yes. Mm. What if I killed her before she gave me the Lord Vessel? She would drop it, like her, oh, her corpse okay. would drop it. Okay. But you can kill her, and something does happen. Oh, the game shit. acknowledges that you that you have killed her. Why would I kill her? You She's just vibing. Nice there are there's lore going on. Oh, there's lore. Uh, there, this is actually one of the biggest cruxes of the entire like lore of the first game. Uh, hinges on what happens when you kill her. Oh shit. Uh, I, I don't so the know. game, the rest of the game isn't correct if you don't kill her, Merity. That's what Steven said. Ult Ultimo Dan Man says, uh, "Kill giant woman to learn the awful truth." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't bring myself to. She's just vibing. It's like Bioware games. I I say do what you think is right, Merit, and if you don't want to kill her, don't kill her. Yeah, I can always look it up later. Bronel. Yeah, yes. exactly. Go power strength. Yeah, teleport. Gatorade teleporting. Also, I fucking never to kill this guy though. Oh, that guy is like it's just Did you done. Did the second bell? <laughs> Motherfucker, Merritt's got the Lord Vessel now. Yeah, I got the Lord Vessel. What have you been up to? Didn't Why you did... just see her? Didn't you just see Bronel like, appear out of the fire in front of you? Oh, I guess not, because there's no fire. But there will be. Yeah, I mean, here's the other thing too. Is like once you once you've beaten the game how you think you want to beat the game, you can just look up all that lore. You can figure out what's going on. God, remember Merritt when you weren't sure if you were gonna get into Destiny, and I wrote like a Google Doc of Destiny lore for you Jesus. to explain the first game. I only hope that my Different people back then. Yeah, working here has changed me. Oh. In a good way or what? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You know, it's 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 changed me. <laughs> interesting. It's just it's just I'm in tall, my tongue never intended for restoration. So she was before you couldn't talk to her because yeah. she had had her tongue cut out, but now since she's, oh. she's been reincarnated, she has a tongue again. Wow. Damn. Like a starfish. Yeah, exactly like a starfish. Kind of how when uh, SpongeBob killed Spo uh, Patrick's murderer and then got his soul back and mm. reincarnated him. <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. I can just go wherever the fuck I want now? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Uh, it's not every single bonfire in the game, but Is it just it's the a ones bunch. with keepers or whatever? Or? No, it's it's there's a bunch. Oh, I have 50,000 souls, huh? Sure do. From killing those lie. those like just idiots. An old gay couple. Yeah, for killing an old gay couple living in. <laughs> okay, like, this is a reference that planet. like nobody is going to understand probably. But uh, did anyone play Mega Man X three? No, no. Um, I played X four. That was my first one. Ornstein and Smo remind me of Bit and Bite, who are oh. um, recurring mini bosses in that game. There's like a little guy and a big guy. Um, okay, I'm looking them up right now. And they fight you. Um, and then later on, they merge into, like, a giant weird machine. Oh, like a dragon dog. Yeah, that's what they merge oh, into. Oh, is they, that what Dragon Dogs is? Dog, dragon yeah, <laughs> Dragon Stogma is about a dragon stock. What should I upgrade? What should I put my souls into? Hmm. <sighs> Resistance is a wasted stat. I'll say that. It's it's a completely worthless stat. Um, Dexterity is not going to help you much because you've basically been going strength build. Yeah. Attunement is gives you more spell slots, but you haven't really been using magic. No. You could you could start specking it that way. Strength, endurance, or vitality, probably right. Probably. <laughs> also, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> Horn, she just fucking posted. Yeah, Horn, she just posted this uh, a quote from Miyazaki, 
Uh, talking of glamour, her breasts have nothing to do with me. They happened without my knowledge. It's all the artist's fault. I think I mentioned it earlier, but I always seek a certain refinement in all my designs. Waragai, really? Miyazaki, yes, but the artist had such a happy look on his face, I didn't have the heart to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Gaydog, he's talking about, um, this is the other Miyazaki. This is, um... Yes. Hidetaka the, Miyazaki? The Dark Souls uh, Miyazaki. The Dark Souls Miyazaki. Um, not on He's talking Miyazaki. about Guinevere. Um, God. I yeah, because that, that does seem weird. Because, like, nothing yeah. else in this game looks like that. Nothing else in this entire franchise ever looks like that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Because, yeah, like, this doesn't... Like, his whole thing about, like, oh, we need dignity and stuff. And then just, uh -huh. just me, like, what if just... <laughs> Do I have just some fucking basketball? Bag old titties. Just like. Big um, uh, Wait, oh what's God. the one that lets me carry more or uh, have higher uh, carry load? Is that endurance? endurance? Yeah, that also increases your stamina. So that's like a great one to get up to like the soft cap. That well, that one's like never a waste. Okay, for cool. any any character. Because I want to wear more cool stuff. Hell yeah. I'm just doing this so that I can wear a uh, cooler armor. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's... Uh, hey, Fashion Souls is very real. Uh-huh. Oh, can you put on Havels now? You might uh, be able to. Let's see. Uh, okay, if chat... Chat, if you could just bust out a calculator for no, us real quick. I'm going to be over half. Doesn't that make you no. slow? Yeah, it'll make you slow roll. And it also slows down your sprint, sprint speed. Um, can I put the black iron helm on? No. Might? Six? No. Not quite. God, I'm literally just going to pull up. If I got the ring, I could. All right. Yeah, let's go have. fucking kill Havel. <gasps> right. You're right next to him now. Because you can just fast travel. Fuck. Yeah. Where does he live? Uh, he lives in the undead burg. He's at the bottom of one of the towers connected to the Taurus Knight. So should I just walk there? Yeah. Okay. There's not. Uh, there's not really a good. You yeah, don't have a bonfire. You can go up to that's closer. Go up through the stairs up here. Yep. There. You can also unlock a bonfire inside the undead burg now. That will be a warp point that you don't have. Oh, cool. Oh, remember these guys? <laughs> hey, try and hit me. See what happens. Okay, that's great. Great effort. Oh, okay. interesting. Okay. Well, wow. 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 Okay. Oh, what do you want to do? Oh, you want to? You don't even oh, stun me, bro. It's kind of one hit kills, huh? It's kind of when it kills all around. <laughs> oh, cracked around shield. That's great. Oh, you got a firebomb? Here, let me oh, cool. see what happens. Let's see. Try that. Yeah, just check that out real no, quick. No, no, no. Just here. You missed. Try again. No, nope, no. Nope, you got to aim a little better. You're not. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. wow. Oh. That's uh, like, that's that's like two sword hits. One. Hey, there's a thing over there. Yeah, there is. And there's a man there now, too. Take that jump. You notice that? There is oh, a man there over is. there. Hey, sorry. Um... Could you, Can you not? I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It's going to take about another 20 of those to fucking <laughs> kill me. Also, this guy clearly never played that Flash archery game where you had to adjust your trajectory. Yeah, your he bow. never played uh, Gorilla.BAS. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, yeah. Not great, even flinching from hustle. hits is cool. Not even so close, still, baby. Dearly delirious. Um, I love that ball. Oh, that guy was trying to sit down to take a rest. <laughs> he was just very tired. <laughs> squeeze in there yeah just squeeze in wait i i have a great plan for this ronald can't squeeze into that come on that's okay ronald can do anything ronald sits Th that's right it sets his you know you're right him. ronald does have like collapsible ribs like a rat that's true now rats have what did you not know that is that how rats can get into small spaces yes uh they have collapsible ribs that allow them to squeeze down and get flat that's cool that's a real thing. Oh, they hey, got jelly up? bones. What's up, my dude? Kill him. Didn't expect to meet anybody. <laughs> Not like learning that. Unsubscribe, says Papa Bear Zach. <laughs> Too late. You already know it. What do you got for me? Ah, oh, pine resin. Ah, oh, master key. Uh, Dade Cider uh, says rats can squeeze through any open, uh, any opening larger than their skull. Golem so armor. Wait, he sells me the iron golem armor. Yes, so Domino's whole thing is that anytime you start to encounter, like, bosses or major NPCs, what? he will start selling their armor. I can buy Wardenstein's armor? Fuck, that's so yes. cool. And it, the, here's the thing, if you had killed Smo instead, you would be able to buy Smo's armor. Oh, is Smo's armor better? 
I think his armor is better, but Ornstein's spear is dope as fuck, and he gives you a ring that's really good. Cool, really good. Wait, did I already well, that check that? Shame, I don't no think you have. Come back. No, they'll be. Okay, let me see. It, it's a little esoteric. It's for thrusting weapons like spears. Oh, boost counterattack of thrust weapons. Okay. Wow. Which counterattacks in this game doesn't, I don't believe, mean parries. It, like, basically, the, uh, the game never explains this, but you can do critical attacks on enemies if they are, like, if you catch them in a bad animation, like mm. a, um, like a punish in a fighting game. Right, okay. And then if you, if you use a thrusting weapon, like a spear, like the spear you can make out of Ornstein's soul, for instance... Uh, you do way more damage, and my understanding, I've never really messed with it too much, but my understanding is that ring is very, very powerful. Mm. Yeah, top left center says it's like fighting game counter hits. It's exactly like that. Cool. So, okay, yeah. Let's go kill Hovel. Do it. Fuck that guy. Oh, is there a rat over here? Yeah. Oh, they can poison me, though. Oh, but I oh yeah, but... Yeah, and there were one hit kill. There were nothing. Will Mary do the zone in Inner Londo that is very convoluted to hmm. get to? Is his job on that. Interesting. Yeah, interesting question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think we decided that when I get to the point where it makes sense, you would tell me about the DLC and then. The Anna Wanda thing is not DLC, okay. but uh, it, the DLC is incredibly convoluted to get to, and you would never find it without looking up a guide, I will say. Okay. Uh, honestly, probably the same for that convoluted zone in Anna Londo, because you have to get to an even more convoluted zone, <laughs> uh, then pick up an item to get to the convoluted zone in Anna Londo. Um, God, I ran into Hovel... Wait. No, this is the depth. This isn't right. Yeah, th this the is the way. wrong tower there's two towers just like this you, there's the other one has the has hovel at the bottom man blackjack of texas really want an undead burg and you know what i haven't had a burger in a minute mm. yeah i had a veggie burger the other day fun. yeah how was right. that it was okay yeah. it wasn't like did you make it best. no i i bought it um i will try making a veggie burger at some point but hell yeah they put, um, a, there's a veggie burger place called Monty's, and their logo is a very cute dog. Mm. Um, and it's near my house, but it's called Monty's Good Burger. And that, mm. you, it, you can't lie. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, that's false advertising. Um, anyway, but I don't think I can eat it because the, it's, I think the patty that they use is primarily soy. Ah. Uh, is that and, bad for you? And you don't because yeah, of your politics. Yeah, because of my politics. Mm, um, mm, mm. Yeah, I can't, like, eat soy. Um, I don't kind of want that to ruin my body. Mm. Um, yeah. No, I have a soy allergy. Yeah. So that would Q take me right out. Soy allergy. A soy allergy. Uh, Q Marquis says, I think there's something to be said about weird, convoluted nonsense in Dark Souls quests and some of the weirder Destiny exotic quests. And we've talked about this before on this oh, stream. Like, Yeah, absolutely. I love uh, Destiny. Destiny definitely draws massive inspiration from Dark Souls design. I don't know if I've ever had a Portobello burger before. Blackjack oh. attack. I'm sorry. Like it? I'm sorry. I'm a vegetarian who cannot stand those. I know some people like them. I just think that, like, I don't know. I don't get the whole vegetarian like, oh, I have to replace meat thing. Like, mm. like, oh, I, have to need, I need something that's like a steak, like the texture of a steak. Well, first of all, like a mushroom isn't the texture of a steak. It has gills. No. And uh, I would way prefer like a, ch I'll take a chickpea or like whatever burger. Um, like now, is that why day. they call it surf and turf? Yes. Okay. Because uh, the mushrooms the, have gills? The, yeah, yeah. No. No, it's because the, the the beef has the gills. Um, oh, the is really okay. sea cow. You can't it's a sea that makes cow. way more sense. Yeah, yeah exactly. okay. Um, but I respect people who can eat. I, I want to sort of. I would love to get better at being able to eat mushrooms because they're very versatile and good for you. And there's so many kinds, and they people like them. I just and you can get high off of them. You can get high off of them too. Uh, Merritt, I would go back and rest at that bonfire because if Havel kills you, you're gonna have to run all oh, the way back yeah. through the undead bird. He, won't, he can't kill me. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he probably can't. Kind of he probably can't kill me. 
probably can kill you. Um, I definitely ran into him early on. Oh yeah, you guys come back, huh? You sure you want to do this? All right. Well, All right. well, that's a choice. I mean, do you want to? Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, just let them hit you first, because then it's self-defense. It's fair. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I, no one, no court would find me guilty. Yeah, legally, legally. Oh uh, yeah. So Peter Skeleton Club says they went mushroom picking uh, in autumn this year, and that sounds like mushroom foraging and stuff. That shit sounds so cool. Mm. Um, I just, I don't know. I just don't love them. They're too spongy, and I'll find a way to eat mushrooms one day. You'll find a way to save the day. That's who you are. Yep. What is that? That's another Steven's Universe song. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was uh, like maybe like a uh, Doctor Horrible or something. Oh no! That I was that was gonna be like, why is Steven going Doctor Horrible? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I. Oh, could. Oh, you guys! Oh, you flitched me! Oh, oh wow! You. It just took three of them together it's working. Yes, <laughs> <together. laughs> working together. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Great work, guys! Great job! Great job! Great job! Uh, the tower is over here. It's uh still still a little bit past here. There you go. Uh, this actually so merit um to circle back to something you mentioned earlier. Are you planning on doing the DLC then? Do you think? Uh oh, is that you got a backstab on me? It didn't really work, but oh um, wow, that yeah, that did about as much damage as <laughs> the normal hits. Yeah. Um, I might. <laughs> yeah. I'm just walking through this carnage. Yeah, <laughs> I might. Okay, yeah, this is where he lives. I don't find the DLC particularly challenging, but it is very cool. It's like okay. I've got a really cool setup. Then yeah, I'll do it. Uh, he's down, by the way. Oh, he's down. Yeah. Oh yeah, up is to Gargoyle Land. Uh, Jawbone Bat says DLC is the best part of the game. IMO. Oh yeah, this is. I opened the store with the the key that I wasn't like with the skeleton key. Yeah, exactly. Pavel, I'm back. Remember me? KTBS says yes. The DLC has the uh, best cutscene in the game. Pavel. Oh, and yeah, finally, DLC bosses are uh, oft regarded as the best of the series, says Dearly Delirious. That's why I'm going through all of the Dark Souls games and <laughs> playing through the DLC. Half of his health off. Jesus. And it's as simple as that, folks. Wow. It's as simple as that. It's just done. That. It's just as simple as that. And now you can just put on his ring and wear his armor. Just kind of stunt on him. Iron Bronald. Do not take off this ring, though. Take off the no. second ring. I will say, I won't, won't say how, but I will say there is, if you ever do mess up and take off that ring, there is a way to get one more per playthrough. <laughs> one more. You <laughs> only have two. Um, yeah, Ronald is going back to middle school and bullying the cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it at least give you a confirm if you try to take it off? That's what Nagu Panaga says. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think I've ever tried to. Daxi Mad says it's so legitimately annoying to watch you one shot Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like a pro gamer. I don't know what to tell you. Oishi says, Steven said, if Havel kills you. Yeah. <laughs> that was like oh, fucking waste of time. Look at my huh? equip load now. Wait. It's so high. Should I put on Havel stuff or should I put on. Uh, uh, Havel's armor is legitimately the best armor in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I got this big Don't one. laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> no, I gotta. Don't laugh. <laughs> I can't. It's really funny. Don't I'm laugh. Laughing of, I'm laughing because of the way he looks. <laughs> right, you're like, laughing at his physical appearance, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and still rolling like a fucking whirling dervish. Yeah, yeah. it turned red because it was like, are you sure? You're gonna be... It's gonna, get, it's gonna <laughs> All right, go right. off. <laughs> But here's the thing, too, is that um, if you ever level up Endurance again, it stacks with that ring because it's percentage based. Oh, wow. Wait, so you can, can just I, keep Can I get the gloves more. on, too? Can I get the gloves on, too? Can we get the full? No, that is going to put me just well, when, over half. When here's the Ronald thing, Merit. Sleeps, uh -huh. You could oh. try taking off your shield. You'd lose the stamina regen bonus, but you could maybe wear the uh, gloves instead. It's mm. a choice to make, you know? Let's see. When Bronald sleeps, kids come up to 
come up to him and try to tip him over. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the fucking... Just the fucking... Oh my god. Like, oh. <laughs> Sometimes he'll wake up and there's like eight to ten children kind of like attached to his side. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Brottle can't lay down anymore. He, he yeah. just has to yeah. sleep standing up in the armor. Standing up. Where does he pit? How does he piss? Oh, it, you know. In this seat? Yeah, you know. he's just pissed himself. <laughs> just like Master Chief. He's no one can yeah, stop Brottle now. Out like, seat. he's just fucking unstoppable now. Hey, I Hello. wonder if I can kill that Titanite demon now. Can you roll huh. real quick just to see? Just to double check? Wow. This makes no sense. You, so, Steven, you've, you've raised an interesting question that I now have about Master Chief. Uh-huh. So he pees, obviously. He is a person. Obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, but how does the pee leave his suit? I think it just gets stored and then, like, ejected in, like... Ejected, what if it gets, like, <gasps> through his feet? <laughs> that, or, like, it's put into his bullets or something. Oh, uh, kind of like makes to, him like, more to lethal. demoralize the covenant. <laughs> you says, filled bullets. Kiki <laughs> says that that's why the visor is yellow. <laughs> oh, his seat is just full up with pits. Well, they use the electrolytes in the pit. Oh, Mary. <laughs> well, Mary. Well, hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? Me telling you to rest at that bonfire paid off, didn't it? It did. And I'm just going to grab my souls from right over here. <laughs> Oh, um, you really? Guys, you saw what happened and you want more, huh? More, huh? Well, do, uh, do you think they remember? Is it the same guys or is it like different It's guys? the same guys because they're undead. They're coming back to life. Oh, I see. So they remember. Yeah, um, you do have <laughs> yeah, one fear. <laughs> <laughs> one weakness, one fear, fall. <laughs> yeah, Bronald does fall very quickly and very hard when he hits the ground. Oh, God, yeah. Um, He's like a devil fruit user. If he gets in the water, he's done. Oh, yeah, no. He's just totally fucked. Where is... Uh, okay, wait. So Firelink Shrine and Orlando. Chamber of the Princess. Dark Moon Tomb. Don't know what that is. Um, Dark Moon Tomb was that, uh, like, bottom of the elevator one you were at. Oh, with ghosts. That's Ghost Town. No, that, uh, the bottom of the elevator in Anorlando. Sorry. Oh, okay. Because um, that's Gwyn's Now tomb. I know what happened to Tarkus. Yeah, he fell. That's true. Yeah, Tarkus did... We saw his body. Like that's where I he got his armor. Fell. He literally fell. He literally fell. Um, how? Where's the? Okay, undead parish. Yes. You also haven't spoken to. You haven't exhausted all of your dialogue with Guinevere. I don't think, and you haven't spoken oh. to Frampt. Shit. Okay. I don't think you get anything for exhausting, except maybe just some like extra context from Guinevere, and then. Yeah. Uh, but but Frampt, I think, will explain your next uh, right. objective to you. Yeah, because he wanted me to get the Lord Vessel, and I did. So yeah, we're probably gonna wrap this up pretty soon. Um. We've been going for a couple hours. I wait. Mm. No, that's the wrong. Nope. Don't. Yeah. No. Nope. That's uh. I mean. This is the bad place. It would still be bad because I would still fall. But those snake men couldn't do shit to me. Yowza, Yowza B says, "Talk to the pervert serpent." <laughs> yeah, he tells you to sin. Oh, is yeah. that the guy with the big eyes? That guy sucks. Yeah, yeah. he's bad to look at. He has like Who a flesh mustache. Yeah. Wait. And like human teeth, but no lips. Yep, it sucks. <laughs> human teeth, but no lips. I'm he crazy. literally, he straight up does. All right. Uh, Orthostasis, that's not true. You can still get the Dark Lord ending uh, by not talking to Frampton. It doesn't. The game does not care about that. Oh hey, what's up, buddy? You're probably gonna still hurt me with that lightning, but I want to see how much damage I do to you. Oh, that's a great, great, great effort. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That did. You know, his tail swipe kind of like took off. Like what? Like two percent there? Yeah. That's not. Oh. No, that's not mm. quite gonna do it. I'm afraid. That man does just do as much damage to you as like the undead, like little uh, dweebs back top, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Really. It's just sad, you know. Questioning the solid metal demon titties, says cute Marquis. Well, uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Legitimately, Merit, this is like... I feel like I'm cheating, insane. though. Like, I feel like I'm cheating somehow. Like, just 
I got all the good armor and stuff, though. Like, is that? I mean, that, you like, got that, most of those out of chests. Like, it's not like it's not like you it's not like I got, got lucky. lucky drops. I mean, I did get a lucky drop with the Black Knight sword. But you you could also just have like there are a number of like heavy swords you could have just like found normally, and they would be almost just as good. Okay. It's not that big of a difference. Cool. Yeah, like Blackjack Attack says, nope, you are playing Dark Souls correctly. Cool. I'm just, uh, I'm just really good at video games. You could just, yeah, you could just be using the Dragon's Tooth says Blackjack Attack, which you got at the same time as the Havel's oh, Gear. Oh yeah. And that's that's basically just as powerful. Horn, she does break the point. Just wait for the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna get worse. Uh. There's a lot of very funny stuff that happens, I will say. They just, like, take away all your shit or something? No, it's... They do a Metroid? No, I, not really, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, experience with Monster oh. Hunter definitely goes a long way. So that's th that's exactly it. And I went the opposite direction. I mm. got into Monster Hunter after getting into Dark Souls. That was my gateway drug. Right. Um, you having played a bunch of Monster Hunter, that's got to be it exactly, actually. Yeah, that, that definitely helps quite a lot. Um, like okay, blackjack attack says you've seen this before, like the ghosts, right? Yeah, like, I, I went to the ghost by accident. I thought that's where I was supposed to go, and uh, right. I managed to kill some of them, but they just really um, hurt me pretty badly. But there's like you know things in this game like that where there's like weird tricks. But and I figured things out that, the, that the curse explain. thing like immediately. Totally sure. Because I just checked the item that. They drop when I killed some guy, he dropped like a minor curse, and I was like, What's this? And it's like, Oh, it lets you hurt ghosts. And I was like, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Um, just read the lore, just read, read the, the lore. lore, it's really easy. It's an easy game. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, straight up, like a lot of what you have to do is just like, Oh, read this ring, and it'll tell you exactly what to do. Wait, I'm gonna go back and talk to her, yeah, just go visit or, the basilisks yeah. and get cursed. Yeah, uh, that works. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Um, Although then you're then you're cursed, and it's a horrible night to have a curse, mm -hmm. so you don't want it right now. Oh, we're gonna get banned. No, no, no. I showed tit and penis in the cyberpunk one, and it's fine. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, she said this already. Okay, wait. A fitting heir to Father Gwyn, thou art. Yeah, half of Bronel's health now is more than it, his max health was when I got cursed. Oh god, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, test of metal, warmth of fire, without fire, it's bad. Inheriteth. Talk to the serpent. Yeah, okay. King Seeker Front. Wait, if I... Can, will it let me enter a covenant? Yeah, yeah, it should. Will I lose great Chaos Fireball? No, I don't think so. There are a couple of spells in this game that you can lose if you leave a Covenant, but I think that's only tied to like if you rank up in those Covenants, the rank up rewards. Oh. Uh, Enter Covenant, a.k.a. Sim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ring of the Sun Princess. Huh. Um, Forget what that one does. Well, I'm probably not going to be using it anyway. Yeah. It's probably something to do with magic anyway. I think the arbiter's here. Yeah. <sighs> now, here's the thing. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Go forth, chosen on dead. Um. So they. So okay, basically, we've got like a Greek god situation where they like killed the the, the dragons and then made mm -hmm. the world different, and then they took over and they became the gods and stuff. Yeah. But then. But now it's been so long that like the fire of the world is going out or whatever, and yes, every and everyone is cursed with undeath, and no one can die anymore. Um, and then eventually they just go insane and start like losing their minds. Yeah. Uh, they want me to be the new one. Yes, they want you to link the fire. They want you to like re restart the, re the age just, of fire. Just crank it back up again. Yeah, basically, basically. you are the Olympic torch runner. So basically, what the way they want me to be guys. is a fire starter, a twisted yeah. fire starter. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like Drew Barrymore. Mm. 
or um, like Mario. the song. Um, but I don't trust them. Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. It's it's way too like like. There's yeah. Looking at the audience <laughs> while I turn a knob labeled fire. <laughs> so that's for a second. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, like, it, it's fucking Dark Souls, okay? It's not like, like, I'm just, like, no one is telling me the truth about anything. No. They're just like, yeah, you should totally go do this, okay, buddy? You're playing a video game. Do you enjoy this? And, like, I do enjoy killing things, but, um. So, so I can tell you a thing before you talk to Frampt. I will say there is one thing you can do. Um, if you talk to Framp, you'll get locked out of it. You could, there's a thing you can do to get more lore if you wait and hold off on talking to Framp right now. Okay. And if you play like a lot more of the game without uh, without giving the Lord Vessel to Framp. Oh, he wants it, huh? What are you going to do about it? Yeah, I, I'm just saying, like, you... You can do that if you want to. You you don't have to. Like, whatever you think is the best course of action here. You'll see some stuff if you talk to him. But this is a thing you would have no way of knowing um, yeah. without, like, looking it up. There, You can get some alternate dialogue if you don't give that to him yet. I mean, I don't trust these people. A big snake came out of the ground and tell, told me to, like, <laughs> do a crime. Yeah. It, like, oh, and... Oh, uh, yeah. Like, he's literally a big fucking snake. And he's like, hey, you should go do sins. Like... Excuse me? And I'm not... Okay, like, I don't actually know. Like, this is one of the things, like, I don't know what the plot of Dark Souls is. This is just me speculating based on the fact that he's a giant fucking snake mm -hmm. who looks like a monster. <laughs> um, he doesn't even look like a snake. He looks like a weird... He looks like a fucking... He looks awful. Halo... He looks like the, uh, the old Halo guys. Oh, uh, like a mm, like a flood? Like the old elites? The, no, the no, Covenant like boss. The Covenant. Uh, oh, the ones that 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 are in the in the oh, floating chairs. The floating chairs. The, the yeah. Prophets. prophets. He looks like the prophets. He does look remember like the prophets. It, those guys fucking Halo, sucks. Remember in Halo Two when you had to fight those guys, oh, yeah. and every time you hit one of the guys with your melee attack, Just... you got a really cool guitar stab. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, the ones that used to be hot says Papa Grzak. Yeah, because they used to be like beautiful, ageless. Yeah. Uh, oh, did they? Yeah, in the Halo lore. Did huh. you yeah, watch uh, BDG's uh, video about that? Uh, I haven't actually. Yeah, that yeah, one's actually really good. Were, yeah, they were super hot. I learned a I lot. I hear good things about that. Yeah. Um, I don't want to just like it. A lot of the lore in this game is like reading item descriptions and yeah. killing NPCs to get items that they drop <laughs> that have item descriptions. Yeah. Um, so there's like a lot of people who play the, any one of these new games and on their first run, just like, all right, I'm a, right before the final boss. I'm going to kill every single uh, NPC in this game. Yeah. And, and get all the stuff. Hi, Jordan. Hello. Oh, hey. Oh, Jordan's here. Jordan, Hi, check, him, here. check me out. You look you look totally rad. You're I, uh, my boy Havel. I killed... Ornstein and Smo on like my third try. Mm. On her third not. try. Yeah, it was. It was uh, I was there. We were all there. It, it was a bit. sick. No, no it's like no. you can you can watch the bit. video when it goes up. This is absolutely not a bit. It are you hideous. seriously? The, man, that's fucking. It feels like I'm cheating. Like people are like, "Oh, you're doing really well." And I'm like, I feel like I'm being punked or something because like, I mean, it was hard, but like not. I was doing so much damage man, with this sword. I, it took me four hours to be Ornstein and Yeah, Smo. I thought that was going to be the whole stream. People in the chat were like, oh yeah, no, I gave up at this part. I came back like years yeah. later or whatever and it's just like, like I mean, I, I, I can see that. Like, I don't know. I don't I don't want to say it's easy or anything, but like, I just You're I, just good well, at this. So, someone in the chat did make a really salient point, I thought, which was that um, the Monster Hunter experience is a big help here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey. Just, hey, Merrick, there's an item over there on top yeah, of that roof. Yeah, I know. I don't know how to get up there. Hmm. Um... Yeah. How, which one did you kill first? Oh, Ornstein. Ornstein. No, Smo. Smo. Sorry. I killed Smo first. She got that harder kill first, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's incredible. Congratulations, Mary. Thank you. Oh, it's that's, a sicko that's, mode. That's, that's. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. That's just so unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't wake up. Um, I don't, don't want to talk to you. Use your uh, grappling hook. And that'll take oh, you right up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, the grappling. Yeah, don't forget about your grappling. Touch. Yeah, um, they they put that in the game. They added that in a patch. It's really helpful. <sighs> That's the yeah. 
2.4 patch, I think. God, that, that's fucking crazy. I'm still... I'm going to have to go back and watch it's, that. And, it's and gross. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to give you... Uh, I made a highlight of... The first time I beat Ornstein and Smo was on a 24-hour stream that I mm -hmm. was, that I did. Um, and it happened at like like 3 or 4 in the morning <laughs> after I've been streaming for like 18 hours. Um, I made a... I put a... I have a highlight of it on my YouTube channel. I'll send it to you later. Nice. Um, at like I was using like brittle crystal weapons, and like I had a girls' generation song on looped for like <laughs> confidence jams. Uh, um, um, oh, you have to. It throw was a your, much different experience. You have to throw your hat and jump on it. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. oh, and then you kind of like flip off the walls. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and there's oh there hey there's three coins up here. <laughs> hey wait where is the place with the birds and stuff like they. I think that's Jurassic Kingdom. The place with the birds? No, not. There's like birds that talk to me. Or like. Eggs. <laughs> oh, no. There's like what? bird eggs. There were like baby <laughs> birds that were like, give us. Oh, oh uh, Snuggly. Yes. Snuggly. Where yeah. is that? Snuggly's. I, um, hmm. Hmm. Like birds. That Mer stop. Okay. Mer you, you know how earlier you said that um, you might want to know about how to get one to one of those obscure areas eventually? Uh huh. We can tell you how to get to one of those obscure areas right now. Well, no, I want to just know how to get the birds. I want to go that, to the You have to go to the obscure area. Well, tell me where the birds are. That's all they're I want to know. The, they're at the Undead Asylum. They're back at the Undead Asylum. Which way? How is... Oh. Wait, where's the bird nest? That's back at the Undead Asylum? Yes. Oh. Yeah, the, you know how you got carried away from the Undead Asylum? Um, yeah. By, by big that big bird? It's back at that location. I see. I'm going to tell him about it. Why is it? Thank you for... Tell them all about that bird. All about that bird. About that bird. No chicken. Uh, here's another thing too that might be useful. If you, if you exhaust all the dialogue with the um, with the crestfallen warrior down there, he uh, will tell you a bunch of wild shit. This guy? Oh, does he really? Yeah, he tells you about um, stuff. Maybe it's time. Well, he also tells you how bad Framps. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time I do something about it. Well, no, uh, that's all I get from him. Is that all you get from him now? Okay. There might, yeah, we might need another like world progression. Um, right. Uh, or we Mer pass did you it. Know or you can jump in that well to the left of here. I was wondering about that. Yeah, that's possible. This well. Mhm. Mm the one with the dead guy in it. Yeah, because yeah. it looks really inviting. It does, doesn't it? Doesn't it make? It, doesn't it look like you just want to jump? You wouldn't be able to do it in Havel's armor. Oh, this hole um, was made for merit, is what I'm <laughs> kind of getting from this. Uh, but yeah, it is possible. No, to he has there. to be. He ha he can't. Yeah, he can't do go. this. There it is. We have to get his real skin back. Yeah. Uh, Are you this just is like his real skin? <laughs> what was was Havel's armor? Oh, oh, and uh, your your uh, bonfire's back. Yeah, I I brought her back to life. Yeah, she beat the last I killed uh, Letrek as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Eat oh shit, my Letrek. god, yes. <laughs> the fucking return of the king. Yes. <laughs> the, is Now, is his loincloth still swallowed up by his muscular tush? Looks like it. Yes. Yeah, pretty swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> pretty deep in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Can you do it from the ground? Do you have to get up on the ruins you might need somehow? Little, you need oh, some more there. height. Yeah, sorry. That's a Donkey Kong Country ass. <laughs> but the animated series Donkey Kong, you know. <laughs> you died. <laughs> <laughs> good, good Ooh, boy, Jordan. Well. Great stuff. Incredible. Great stuff. <laughs> That's extremely good, uh, <laughs> and it's they they put that there on purpose. Yeah, just like, so that people would. Yeah, they, like cause, oh, I wonder if I can get in there. Yeah, because they wouldn't have put that hole in the wall for you to jump through. Yeah, otherwise, no. right. Like <laughs> they wouldn't have even made that well like a thing that you can fall into and die. They would have just like God. made it nothing. That's, I love that well is one of my favorite parts of this game because oh it, it serves no purpose other Thought than to there's be a like, secret well, item down there. No. Right, there could be. Maybe that's how you get to. Um, that's how you, you unlock know, like Mew. In, 
Yeah, Mew's, yeah, down, Mew's there. down there. There's a there's a there's a truck that you push out of the way at the bottom <laughs> of that well. Um, oh my god, he's wearing like 600 pounds of armor <laughs> <laughs> like, with infinite durability. Hey, what do you think? <sighs> Me? Oh, does it have infinite durability? Uh, I don't think so. It's just like really high durability. Oh, okay. Um, where am I gonna? Okay, well, how do I get back to the asylum? Do you want to know? It's not something you will ever figure out without looking at a guide. I'll say that. Well, hold on. It it involves the same the same steps necessary to get back to the asylum are the same steps necessary to get that item that's up there. Oh, on top of the building, yeah. I'm yeah. talk to this bird. Snuggly, Snuggly is dope. Snuggly is really helpful. Snuggly is a great character. Snuggly is also one of those like um, from software things where there's just like a Snuggly in every one of these games. Yeah, even uh, a spiritual successor to the Snuggly throne, if not Snuggly herself necessarily. Right, exactly. It's like in Dark Souls 2, I think they're called, it's two birds and they're called like Dina and Tillo or something. Mm -hmm. Why isn't Birdo a bird? That's a great question. Because Birdo's name is Catherine. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Wait, so Catherine is a Birdo? No one really yeah, knows I, how any I of think this so. works. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> isn't the Catherine thing, isn't that just from um, Captain Rainbow or whatever? Oh, is that like a mistranslation problem? Uh, I mean, Cap Captain Rainbow is like a goofy game. It's like a goofy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that anything is canon in Captain Rainbow. Xenomus says Birdo's name is indeed Catherine. Okay. But, but I like Bird's name is indeed Catherine. Bird's yeah. name is indeed Catherine. This why name is Catherine. Why why Birdo then? What does the Birdo mean? Uh, I think it was like Shoots one eggs. Bird yeah, eggs. Like bird. Oh, bird but Yoshi egg. shoots eggs. That's true. No Yoshi. No Yoshi doesn't Yoshi shoot them out of his eggs. mouth though. He throws them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the skeletons are back. Oh yeah, they'll do that. Uh, they're probably much less of a deal, big deal though, than the last. One. <laughs> yeah, now that you one shot them. This is a uh, this graveyard. When the first time I played Dark Souls, and this is a thing where like, if you haven't watched a bunch of pe a bunch of Dark Souls, I kind of feel like Dark Souls is a game that like you need a shepherd for mm. the first few hours to kind of like yeah teach to it to keep you. you from just fucking giving up. Yeah, because I had heard so much about this game being hard. Um, right. Whenever I first started that mm -hmm. I wandered past Firelink Shrine directly into this graveyard and it was like fuck off difficult because oh, yeah. this is not the thing that you're supposed to do first. Right. Right. Yeah. Um but my assumption was well, I'm I guess I guess this is just how hard the wow, this game really is as hard as everybody said it is. <laughs> um and then I stopped playing. Legitimately did the same thing, Jordo. I didn't stop playing. I eventually figured it out, but I de like I was set and determined to get past the skeletons the first mm -hmm. time. Welcome to the catacombs. Oh. Hey, it's here? the catacombs. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I love that. Like Merritt is now encountering like flying, exploding, screaming skulls, and Bronald's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I've like, seen eh, worse. <laughs> Oh, maybe I can go kill uh, Ceaseless Discharge now. Oh, oh almost certainly. Right. Yeah, you could definitely take Ceaseless Discharge. That's a, you're at the point of the game now where you can kind of, you like, you're, it really uh, becomes less linear as far as like yes. what you have the ability to do. You can basically, you can do almost everything right now. Oh man! So did I miss Merritt meeting the big lady? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what? What? How? What do you think? I mean, I sort of knew that she was going to be there. But yeah. I was still just like. Then we got a really great. Uh, these guys just come back to life. Hmm. They it's it's Wait, just me, like yeah. That. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those like those were definitely skeletons you red killed. skeletons. Um, mm -hmm. They're crimson zombies. They're crimson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crimson heads. Uh, you got to set them on fire, otherwise. It, we it, got a great quote from someone in the chat where Miyazaki was like, "I didn't do this. Like this, <laughs> this wasn't me. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah, uh, it wasn't me." Is it the quote where he's talking about the art, the character yeah. designer, and Who that he was, was so he was so proud of of his work that yes. he, that he didn't have the heart to tell him no? That's exactly it. 
It's a great story. Um, she's supposed to be a fertility goddess. So she like, is. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I kind of oh, get fair. it. Um, she's like the Aphrodite of this world. Yeah. Oh, so there's kinda, gonna be that some shit that, there's gonna be like something like some fucking rock that like falls on my head in here. I just know it. <laughs> you, you're you are the rock that falls on people's heads now. Yeah, at this point, fuck yeah. These skeletons could like stay dead. That would be sick. Oh yeah, that would be sick. I mean, they're not really hurting me, but they are annoying, and mm -hmm. they are trying ah. to poison me. They burn oh. through your uh, Estus a little bit, you know. Oh, you're here. Oh, there's a, a bonfire here. Hey guys. Uh, One at a time, yeah. please. Can I not? Not with skeletons around. There's always skeletons around. Huh. Oh, there we go. Burr, 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 burr. Oh fuck! Uh, Q Marquis says, "Gotta kill the skeleton inside you too." Oh, oh no! Push lever. I mean, I have no idea what it does, but I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Dark Souls way. <laughs> My I don't know what this is gonna do, but I honestly don't remember what that lever I think does. That just opens the door. It yeah. opens the door, oh. yeah. Keys open doors. What is a doorknob but like a really round lever? You know, you're right. I think there's a lever in the doorknob. Mm. Fuck yeah. What I'm, you guys are saying different words, but all I hear is that I was right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you're not wrong, see, but you know what? I know, I'm right. Not wrong. <laughs> Mary, did we get any choice um, player messages before you met uh, the big lady? Surprisingly, not really. Yeah? Stop running. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh she yeah, saw you me. definitely won. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh no. here comes Ronald! Oh, I got oh, so no. problem. Oh. oh, I gotta run! Oh god! <laughs> oh shit! Wait, if I kill those guys, do they stop? No. So, so yes, that is the secret of skeletons. Is that but, uh, w there is one man in the area that is a necromancer, who oh. is as long as he is up, the skeletons will reassemble themselves. But there if you take him out, then they'll just kind of pop apart. Hey, where are you? And you can tell if the skeletons are truly dead because you're getting souls. Right, them. yeah. Uh, they also, their eyes glow when there's uh -huh. a necromancer nearby. Mm. There's another trick to the skeletons as well. Nice. Oh, is there? Good effort, yeah. good effort. Nice hustle. There's an alternative method to make the, that the game doesn't really tell you ever, that to make the skeletons dead permanently. Is it is it fire? No. Is it Lucerne. lightning? Gun. No. <laughs> Nikki got it. It's it's gun. gun. Yeah, it's their only <laughs> yeah. weakness, bullets. Is it friendship? Uh, Jordan and Merritt, you guys are on the right path. It's uh, a damage type. It's divine damage. Oh, I thought uh, lightning was divine. That's why I said lightning. But... Uh, there's the, in this game, there are two different things. Oh, okay. Where is this guy? Stop coming back to life. You're, you are right. In the lore, lightning is like the divine element. Um, but for weapons that you can craft, there is a there is a damage type called divine. It's interesting too because lightning is divine because it's what the gods used, not the other way around. Mm. Right. Right. Like um, the gods really liked lightning magic, so that's what's considered divine. For right. or G Lord Gwyn specifically. Wait, am I uh, going backwards? Uh, I always get lost okay. here. The catacombs is uh, honestly my, I think my least favorite zone. This is some kind of catacomb or something. Gotta jack the brightness up. Mm. The way the game is meant to be played. <laughs> There's like a spell that you can cast that's like cast light that just mm. makes everything brighter. Yeah, that's what Gandalf is for. Oh, yeah. sure. That's his, his favorite spell. Merritt, well, I'm really glad you're watching those movies again because you can. Uh, be cognizant of how little wizard shit Gandalf actually does. I know. The That's one of the reasons I didn't movies. like those movies the first time I saw them. Oh, well, nice trick, guys. Nice trap. <laughs> he does get really high, though. He does get he high. Does get no, high. he does some cool. wizard shit, right? Like, he makes fireworks, and then... That's yeah. not really wizard shit. He makes yeah, light, is. and then... I think he, magic fireworks. He fights, uh, uh, he fights the Balrog. He great. shoots, like, magic missiles or something, right? He's, he makes a shield around himself to stop right, the Balrog okay. from... Him. 
I, you know, that's also a thing that I thought was super lame when I was a kid, and now as I've grown up, I'm like, oh fuck yeah, like no, wizards. It's so much cooler, yeah. It's yeah, like, you have restraint, you know. It's uh-huh. not just like, oh, I'm gonna like shoot a big like laser, like. <laughs> I I just think it the whole adventure would have gone easier for everybody if Gandalf had done some more wizard stuff. I mean, yeah. maybe. Look, he he's he did wizard stuff. He he called. Um, he told a moth to tell the eagles. Yeah, to come get him. animals. Yeah, Why didn't he 12? do that at the beginning? It, it, it took eight months. Because he didn't know he had to do a Lord of the Rings yet. That's <laughs> it's not that until is, like the hour true. of the first movie. Because I didn't realize this either. I was like, wait, if Gandalf knows that's the ring, why isn't he fucking? And then it's like, oh no, he doesn't actually know it's the One Ring because there's right. a lot of magical rings in this world. Yeah, and he, he knows he's it's like. Ring. He's in denial about it too. He's like, I please, 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 please yeah. don't. He's like, he's like when um, they go to Edgar's house in Men in Black, and he says, "Please don't be green. Please don't be green." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, he's like, "Oh fuck, we're gonna have to do Lord of the Rings." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause, cause and then he, that's when the title card happens. Yeah. <laughs> it just goes, oh, bum, bum. oh like, fuck, we're gonna have to do a b- b- Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Because uh, oh at this point, like he loves Bilbo, like they they've yeah. been friends for like a hundred years or something, right? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because old. Because because the Hobbit and happened an angel. first. Is that yeah, the same Gandalf? guy? Bilbo. Uh, no. Well, Bilbo Bilbo's the uncle of Frodo. Which one's in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yes. They're, they're both in Lord Frodo of the Rings. Frodo is the main character in Lord of the Rings, though. Uh, Frodo is Elijah Wood. Elijah yeah. Wood. Okay. Who who plays Frodo's dad? Uncle? No one. Frodo's dad is Hobbit. dead. Uh, his uncle, uh, or his like great uncle? Is that what it is? Uh, his oh, is that Bilbo. the guy from Sherlock? His grunkle. Uh, it, no, in the well, original yes. movies, no, it wasn't in the in the prequels, in the, which is weird because he wrote those that book first. Um, but what they made into the movies is prequels. Yes, the guy from Sherlock plays the young version of that guy of his great okay. uncle. I think these guys might get me. These guys might get no, you. You're low on Estus. Estus. Oh, you're I out of Estus. no Estus flask left. No, you're fine. Uh, you can pop the bandage <laughs> and heal. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> um, uh, um, huh. um, um, <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> oh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, I heard you're talking shit. Oh, you think this is an easy game, huh? Yeah, fuck you. What are you talking you. about, Lord of the Rings? You stop paying attention. Oh, you're not even paying attention to me. Papa Bear's axe says, see Sonic 06. <laughs> oh my god. It's probably a good thing I died, because if I didn't, I would have just been, like, stuck forever. So we would have just, like, walked now. to the Wait, final boss. Your souls are in, in hell now. Oh, my souls no. are in hell. There weren't that many. No, because they, they warp, like, ten seconds back from where you were standing. Oh, right? okay. so, I hope so. Man, that was incredible. Oh, I've never seen anything God. like that. I've never yeah, seen that Yeah, Bat says the game has to cheat to kill you now. <laughs> yep. Bro, oh my God, yeah. That's exceptional. The The closest thing I've ever seen to that is is uh, when you would play this game with DS Fix installed. Yes. Oh, and uh-huh. you try to slide down a ladder. Uh, yeah, and you try sliding down a ladder and you would just slide into infinity and die. Right. Uh, now, do we think Merritt's computer is just way better than they think it should be? And so it's oh. like, well, it's running at 60 frames for like a split second and then Merritt falls through the world. It's like when you run old DOS games that are like unclocked or whatever because they never mm-hmm. thought to like design it in such a way to cap the frame right. rate or whatever. So like it just runs like insanely fast. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and Quake. It's just like you just, just like playing the walls. Uh, uh, what's it called? Organ Trail and it's just like fucking zooming. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, here's the good news. Uh, those uh, necromancers don't respawn. Nice. Wait, is this the wrong way? Uh, I'm having the same trouble as Jordo here. I yeah, can't I can remember. Never keep this place straight. Wait, but so then do these skeletons stay dead when I kill them now? Yes. Yeah, you're getting souls, so. Well, you know what? As long as I'm getting souls. As long as you got them souls, who cares? Wait. Well, I don't know what to make for dinner for this next one. What week. are your options? Uh, unlimited. Oh. That's part of the problem. Wait, what? Can lobster. I... Yeah, you make a lobster. <laughs> you fucking won't, coward. You just said it was unlimited. You make one. Look, I'm not gonna kill something. <laughs> make a lobster thermometer. Oh, right are now. you vegetarian, Jordan? No, but you gotta bring the, lo- the lobster home live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, just yeah. said it, you just said you had everything, then. That includes live lobster. Okay, everything except for a meal where I have to bring a living animal into my home and then and, kill and it. Right, slaughter hold on. yourself. And slaughter yeah. yourself. I don't want to do that. My list okay. just got a lot shorter. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't have that much anymore. 
Can I tell you what I'm gonna make? Oh, John's here. And hi, John. He was watching I would love to. too, but now he's here. Uh, yeah, I would love you, to know. What are you gonna make? Here? Um, well, so I made that that mac and cheese, mm -hmm. uh, cheese in quotes, um, which is really good, and I would recommend that recipe. <gasps> Uh, oh, vegan mac and cheese. Yeah. There's no cheese in it. The cheese huh. is just cashews, nutritional yeast, and vegetable broth. So That just occurred to me that that mac and cheese didn't have cheese in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it looked like totally normal mac and cheese. It, it tastes like it su tastes surprisingly like cheese to me. So, I mean, it's mm -hmm. obviously not exactly the same, but mm -hmm. very useful. What is? You know, nutritional yeast. It's fucking crazy. Like it's OP, like you said. Like yeah. it's like Ronald. It's the Ronald of food stuff. It's yeah. Of food stuff. It's like yeah. has a bunch of protein. It just makes things taste like cheese. It's crazy. You can sprinkle it on popcorn. I know. Yeah. Ooh. That's, that's oh, really oh great, great parry, buddy. Great parry. Yeah. Oh, wow, oh, oh look at how much damage. Wow. wow. You just did an animation that you would do. He did, like a real person. Like a real person. You yeah, I gotta so kill this necromancer. Boys. Oh my god. I was god. about to say, there oh must be a necromancer god. around here. Oh my god, I'm losing oh, blood. Wow. This is, this is the same blood thing loss. Last time. Blood loss. <laughs> the exclamation yeah. points on both sides is a really yeah. strong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Finished. And then you just fall right through the world again. That yeah. would be fucking amazing. The amount of poise that you oh, have in this goes. armor set is unbelievable. It's crazy, yeah. right? Like, I can't like, be stunned. You were drinking your Estus like nothing was happening <laughs> while like eight guys were stabbing you. You know what it would look like? It would look like you had um, Iron Flesh on, basically. Mm. It Basically, yeah. The, uh, so Iron Flesh is a pyromancy that gives you temporary Havel's armor, pretty much. Right. It makes you move really slow, but yeah, you can't be stunned at all. Mm. Uh, so that actually, it's a fairly common tactic, especially for some, like, mm. there's a, one boss you haven't gotten to yet that it's, like, a very common tactic to beat mm. that boss is just, like, put that thing on huh. and um, just sit there and smash them. Mm. So there is an item down there, it looked like. There is, so you can probably get down there. H have you pressed this thing yet? That thing? Is that lever? Yeah. I must have missed it. Yeah, that's been pressed. That's one press lever. The most pressed lever I've ever seen. Normally, I pull levers. Not Merritt. Not not nope. Bronald. Not Bronald. He oh God, Merritt. <laughs> Merit. <laughs> mm. no. Well, <laughs> listen. Yeah, we've established right. that Bronald has one weakness, which is falling. <laughs> oh, yes. Through the stairs. Like through the world. You jump? Can you just jump before you hit the ground? Uh, like Probably. a double jump, just to like cancel oh. my momentum. Mm. That would be really yeah, cool. Just do an air dash. So there were a lot of you. Fl you fell past, past and a lot of platforms. Of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rex yeah. Cool Guy says a lot of gravity down there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There's, there's a surprising amount of gravity oh. still left over at the bottom of that chasm. What they don't tell you is, you know, this is underground, and the closer you get to the core of the Earth, the higher gravity gets. Oh, oh that's true. Okay. That's just science. Yeah, that is just science. Merit, what? Uh, we got sidetracked. What are you gonna make for dinner? Oh, um, wait, can I just shortcut this shit? Wait, no, hmm. that's not where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Is it? Uh, is hmm. it? Who knows? Mm. You, hmm. Um, I'm gonna make, um, angel hair pasta with olive tapenade and grilled tofu. Ooh. Mm. What, what is an olive tapenade? It's like an olive sauce. It's like an olive, yeah. Do, it's like an olive paste. The, oh. Do you have to get the olive boys to calm down first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. boys, calm down. I learned about tapenade from iCarly. It's good. I mean, it's real huh. salty and olivey. Isn't that lady, like, selling all of her clothes now? iCarly? No, the other one. Sam, what's her name? That's Alex her Mack. Name. No, no, the other one. Fucking Ariana Grande. No, the other one. Oh, and my God. People are talking about a defying gravity from Wicked in the, the <laughs> chat now. Because um, someone said is that a song. Yeah, someone said you can't beat gravity, and like the big song from Wicked is is called Defying Gravity, or it's uh, the big song that I know. I don't know. There's probably more. I've yeah, never seen Wicked. Wicked's not that great. I've never seen it either, but um, my friends listen to it a lot in college. So mm -hmm. I, I had a bunch of theater pals who were very into Wicked, and I yeah. managed to also never have to hear any of those songs. Oh, was, uh, well, that's not, okay. not, what's not her that name? What's her name? Was uh, Adele Disney? Yes. Huh. Adele no. Uh, what's her name? Kristen Chenoweth. 
No. No, the other okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> who is the who is the witch? Idina Menzel. Uh, the green Idina lady. Menzel, yeah. That's what I said! You said Adele Dazim. <laughs> yeah, that's the same person. <laughs> what? I, heard, no, I thought, no, no, I thought John Travolta said... said at the Oscars that one year. Wait, what? At the Oscars when Adina, Adina Menzel performed Let It Go from the film Motion Picture Frozen, uh -huh. John Travolta introduced her as Adele Dazim. <laughs> what? Because he couldn't read the, the prompter, so he just said Adele Dazim. <laughs> what? I Why thought you said you? that she had Adele disease. <laughs> That's what I thought too. <laughs> it's a really good video. I thought it was like, is this like a thing where you look like Adele? Like, what is the no. joke here? Adele, Adele disease is where you uh, have opinions about um, whether or not it's g uh, good that your voice sounds the way that it does. It's so fucking. Is Adele fun. bad? She didn't. She recently say some stuff about like she having got air quotes, box like, braids. black sounding. Wait, she voice. was the hair. She did the hair thing. Yeah, she got right. the box braids, and it was really corny. That's no, a different hairstyle. She also lost a bunch of Oof. weight, and then like in a way that was probably not particularly healthy. Yeah, and you then she came out and was like, "Hey, just do what I did." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, not. just pay like a lot of money to do what I did really fast in oh, a way that is probably skeletons. not good for you. Just, like, and do that definitely. Yeah. Don't just like be comfortable with how you look or. Well, no, you're not. A, you're not allowed to be uh, famous and. Okay, is there not a normal? Skin, not Wait, skinny. what if I? No. There's oh. Walt on the wall here. So that's mostly heat, not light so much. Yeah, I didn't. Well, yeah. I have mm -hmm. a secret. You have some skeleton tech here that I've just discovered. Which I have is discovered just like a I'm secret move, fall. which is to <laughs> turn up the brightness. That's not I, that much brighter. I can't endorse this. I'm going to turn it down again. Oh, hey, look, you fell on a, on a thing. You're fine. Yeah. Look at this that. You fell horrible. on a thing. There we go. That's Dark Souls. I, I, Dark think Souls. They, I think they took it out for this game but then they got back to it it was in demon souls and then it's back in dark souls 2 but they eventually give you a ring that just reduces all fall damage mm. so you can get past these puzzles and it's great in dark souls 2 because there's like you can skip huge chunks of that game by just falling down the right place at the right time <laughs> yeah the cat ring the cat ring the silver yeah. cat ring yeah hey you can fall for a long um, time be okay you might just be able to make the fall now, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. You take less fall damage for how much equip load you have. Oh. Do you? Yes. I missed that. Yeah, that's that's very real. So, um... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, Bronald, you stabbed yourself, pal! Uh, oh, no. Wait. Oh, jeez. What is this? What the oh, fuck yeah. is that? What the yeah. fuck is that? What's wrong? No, it's fine. It's Cthulhu. Cthulhu li Look, Cthulhu lives here. No. Um, Cthulhu doesn't have bones. What the fuck is this? Hmm. Ew. What? This, this guy kicks ass. I love this guy. Oh, this is he, this is the guy from um the the, the fucking the pirates movie. Does he have a bone beard? <gasps> oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is Orlando Bloom. Yeah, it's Orlando Bloom. Is he just digging? <laughs> Blackjack Attack says that's just Gimli. You oh, like Gimli, is he right? A, he's a blacksmith. <laughs> He's a blacksmith. Welcome to the second blacksmith. You Why is third he blacksmith like now? That? Oh yeah, third because we met the. Just... Oh, did you meet the giant? Yeah. Isn't he a sweetheart? I love him. Yeah, I love him. Um. Yeah. So this is your third blacksmith. He he. Uh. He tore a hole in the walls to so that you would leave. Because he <laughs> does. He doesn't want to be disturbed, which is why he was in this like. Why he like went down the catacombs? Yeah, he he's like alone in this entire completely sealed hallway, so that he can. So just is make... he? He's an undead. He's just he's just down to a skeleton now. Is I, that how it works? I don't, I don't know. know if it's clear, honestly. What's his uh? What's his dialogue options? What is this guy's name again? He's got a name. Skeleton blacksmith. Kyle, um, I think. Vamos. Or Vamos. If I keep talking to him, is he gonna flip out and try to kill me? <laughs> I think we, there's very little lore for this guy. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, I think this is one of those characters that they basically just never explain. Except for that thing that he just said. Uh, right. He needs a legendary I need to give him the ember. 
Yes. Different blacksmiths will accept different embers in this game. Right. That allow so, you to, to make different kinds of weapons. So he yeah, so he just said that he would accept a, an ember from Lost Isolith, mm. which would not be an insignificant undertaking. Mm. And he also That's where the ceaseless discharge is. Yeah, and he also said, um, it's a shame the whole place was flooded. The new Londo. That that was flooded, he said. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. Right, because you stumbled into the ghost town. <laughs> yeah, I stumbled into the ghost town. <clears throat> Uh, and Danny Phantom was like, Mary, you got to get out of here. What, you're not, you're not yoked enough yet. What the mm-hmm. fuck? What? Hey, what? <laughs> what's up? Hey, hey, hey what's what? up? Hey, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, those what's up? Wheels. No, 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 not just wheels. Oh, those are, these are literally Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so these Which, aren't a big deal for you because you're uh, extremely, you've broken this video game. <laughs> <laughs> fucking but, yoked. Uh, yeah, but normally bone wheels are the Horrible. bane of of every player's existence. The, the, the first time I encountered Bone Wheels in my first playthrough of this game, like this part here was my fucking Ornstein and Smo. This took me like an hour and a half to oh, like properly fight these guys. Oh, uh, it's you. Yeah, there's a Black Knight in here. Just let oh, me yeah. drink my juice. Thank you. We're, yeah, we're, black, we're back to Black Knights again. Not sil- They're not silver Can I drink anymore. my juice, please? Sir? Sure. Okay, you leave me no choice. <laughs> What's arrow underneath Merit's? Well... That is one of her rings buffs, I think. Well, hey, you got well, a great axe. Black Knight great axe and a white titanite chunk. Congratulations. That uh, the the red arrow or the yellow arrow up is your uh, weight limit increase from the Havel ring, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Yes. Are, are you wearing that? I am. Um, okay. I will say, I, I think I as well. I don't know if you were here for that. I was not here for that. Rest in peace. Is. I will say I think I fucked up by not telling you about a bonfire that you were like literally three feet away from. Oh shit! Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you had turned around instead of walking straight towards uh, Vamos, the blacksmith, I'm pretty sure there's a bonfire right behind you. I think I looked there and I didn't see. Yeah, one. Mer- Mer- Merritt turned around. Oh, did you? Okay, maybe I'm just wrong then. Black there is a bonfire down there. I don't. It's not in that hallway though. What's the What's the lore on that? Great <gasps> oh, Dearly Delirious says that's only in the remaster. Interesting. Oh. Wait, really? They put they added bonfires to that I, game? That's what I'm that's what I'm reading here in chat. Dark Souls Remastered. Great X the Black Knights used to face chaos demons. The large motion puts the weight of the body into the <laughs> that right. reflects the great size. The weight of the body yeah? of the other adversary is long ago. Alright, well that's not as interesting as I was hoping it would be. Um, um Wow, yeah, that's only in the remastered version. They added one bonfire, apparently. And it's one wow. bonfire. That's nuts. Of all the places you can put a new bonfire in this game, why? Do you? Maybe they had always intended for there to be a bonfire there. Mm. It's totally possible. It's also possible that maybe like they got enough feedback about the bone wheels that they put one right above the bone wheels. Oh mm. right. Yeah. 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 Because people hate the. If you don't have, if you're not like stacked to the gills with poise, like yeah, you are right now, they just fuck you up. Yeah, there. You just get stun locked by them, and you're dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Damn. Yeah, they do incredible poise damage. They're just like stagger machines. Some people uh, uh, have washing machines. Some people have dryers. Wait, wrong some way. Some people have stagger machines. Good. Yeah, I would love um, to just get back down there, and then maybe yeah. we'll wrap the stream. Other folks in chat are basically saying like, yeah, this that basically makes it so that there's a bonfire next to every blacksmith in the game. Oh, uh, um, okay, yeah, that's a good, that's a smart addition then. I only that, ever yeah. went to Andre. I know there's specific stuff that each blacksmith can make, um, but me and did Andre you never use fight. boss weapons? Mm-mm. Mm. No. My remaster playthrough, I mostly used um, Ornstein's, spe- Ornstein's spear on my cool. faith build. That was really dope. Does that scale off faith? Uh, yeah. That's nuts. I didn't know that. It's one of like the only weapons in Dark Souls One that scales off of faith because faith mm. is such a half-baked like yeah, upgrade bar- path in this game. It's barely here. Yeah. Uh, it that's was. Why I never bothered with any of it because I knew that there was just like very little to actually do with that. Right. There was supposed to be more, but like, and they they basically because there's the whole faith-based covenant that like you can enter, but it literally doesn't do anything, and you can't rank it up, mm-hmm. and it's uh, right. and it's the only one in the game like that. That's because faith is its own reward. Oh, oh, sure. Oh. <laughs> and then they like massively overcorrected in Dark Souls 2 by making faith uh, incredibly powerful, and so like it completely busted the game mm. to the point where they nerfed it out of existence. They were like, and then they they overcorrected in the other direction, and then nerfed faith back down to make it worthless again. Oh cool. my god! 
This is some blizzard shit. Uh huh. It's some fucking bungee shit. Uh, Blackjack says there is a closer bonfire if you're into that. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I would like also, to get to one more bonfire. Also, Wink GWJ also says it. I always buff Faith to 18 for Homeward, which in Dark Souls 1 is basically the best spell in the game. Like, no no doubt. Oh, which do? takes you back to a bonfire? It takes you back to the last bonfire you rested at. Oh, free oh, Homeward bonds. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Cool. Which, Where do you uh, get it, that from? The Homeward spell? Yeah. Uh, I think Petrus will sell it to you. Is that his name? Petrus? The, the shitty cleric guy? Oh, the the guy that leaves with uh, has his girl has his uh, ward shown up yet for merit? Kim Petrus, she's it, great. You talked to that cleric lady that showed up in uh, Firelink Shrine at one point, right, Merit? Uh, I don't remember. I think so. I think that happened on stream. Okay. And then she, yeah, she, later on you un you can unlock her if you do enough stuff. You can unlock her as a merchant, and she sells it for cheaper. It's like, wait, where am I supposed to fall right here? You're just supposed to roll off this thing directly forward. Or or jump onto it. You know? Yeah. But uh, while you're not Jesus wearing Christ. this much armor. Oh my god. Oh no. I bounced. I bounced off so the you roll faster and farther uh, with less gear on. So if you had switched, um, if you just gone naked, mm. you'll go better and you'll take less fall damage. That's true in life too. Yeah. Mm. Um... I don't know. I actually might end the stream here. Just I feel like if I to get much further in here is gonna take a while. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, you got to meet a cool skeleton. You did. You made a, did. you made a cool skeleton. You killed. Hey, like, what, what the King fuck? Two hardest boss and oh, what? this is Hive. Oh, this is Hive. Bring a sword. Yeah. I did. <laughs> what? They're like. Hey, that's true. What are these? Bring, bring a sword. Are these potato roly polies? They're like big roly polies. Big Why roly are they all here? Um, you know, underground, right? Yeah, it's horrible. Merritt, let me know when you're about to uh, cancel or end the stream, because I'll I'll just send everybody over to Funke. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. We um, should we should start raiding people at the end of our. Wait, how, well, if I so, what do I do to do that? I stop streaming. Um, then you well, can... I'm gonna I'm gonna hit enter. Okay. And, All right. Uh, yeah, we're raiding yeah. we're raiding Funke now. Hey, Funke. Um, he can't, they can't hear me. I don't know yeah. how any of they this Funke, we love you. Fine. We'll disappear. <laughs> yeah. We, um, will, we will all be transported into Funke's chat at the end of this countdown time. Yes. I see. <laughs> okay. Um, Tr the Funke yeah. transport. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, check out our podcasts and everything. Go to fanbyte.com slash podcasts. Um, and, oh, yeah. Uh, what, what's our, 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 our raid, um... Our Bongo Dingus, right? Is, yeah, Bongo Dingus. Bongo yeah. Dingus. Yeah, Taylor's new art for the podcast drop today. Check that out. Uh, we tweeted it. Fan it looks Media fucking incredible. On Twitter. That's going to be changing next week. Thank you again. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all later this week. Bye. 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 That was very good.